<laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> カンパンコッコネハローハロー How is everyone? <laughs> Sorry, I had to、um, clear my mouth for a bit because I was,、um, I'm still eating. <laughs>、um, I got、um, my roommate went out to party、uh, downtown、uh, today and、uh, she brought back this、um, fucking delicious donut that's、uh, filled with cream and strawberries. So I'm I'm snacking. <laughs> I'm snacking. Mm hmm. It's like a donut place that, like, I linked her, um, uh, uh, like, just today, actually. Because my friend Sonic, he actually used to live around this place. Now, no longer. He's just, he's like, um, yeah, hours away. But, um, so. He sent this to me because it, apparently he still gets like advertisements for this,、uh, for our area with like food. So he, so he was like, hey, you, uh, uh, this thing's delicious. And the thing is, I was, re- I was weary because the first time he did that to me, I, w- I, I was like, oh yeah, that shit looks so good. So I went there, I walked like, 15, like 15, 20 minutes in, the, in like a drizzly, drizzly day down、um, uh, to get it. And it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a restaurant, it wasn't a cafe, it wasn't a store. It was just a fucking condo. And I couldn't get it. And I was just like, what the fuck? I got, I got baited. <laughs> I wasted all that time walking in the city. To be led to a fucking random ass condo that's half been under construction. I was like, Sonic, fuck you! <laughs> so I got so mad! <laughs> But this time he was like, no, 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 trust, trust us! This time it's, it'll actually work out! <laughs> so my roommate, who drives, right? I was like, oh,、um, this. And then I looked at photos. I was like, okay, there's an actual storefront. Yeah, it looks like there's actual. <laughs> So this time she went to check it out <laughs> and came back. Came back、uh, successful. Yes.、Mm-hmm. So、um, this one this one's one actually legit. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing worse than your friend sending you on a wild goose chase, basically. I was like, fucking Sonic, I don't trust you anymore. What the fuck? <laughs>、uh, you know. I guess, I guess that's what friends are good for, right? Trolling you? IRL. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> But this time, it actually worked out. <laughs> so today, wait. So today, we are going to be drawing myself in. This idol outfit. Wait, wait. Let me let me bring it. <laughs> This idol outfit that Mivi has drawn. Wait.、Um, Mivi has drawn of us. Wait.、Uh, let me take this one out. There we go. <clears throat> And she designed actually all the idol outfits for、um, Gen 1.、Uh, uh, 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 like、uh, Gen 1 and Sol- Solstice. So for me,、uh, Leora. Uh, Lofi and Amoria in the in the stream that I linked in the description below. So please do check it out. She's very adorable.、Um, but she has done this as a series for, I believe, I think she got everyone basically. I know she did like Gen 3、um, in the theme of sweets, Gen 4 in the theme of seasons. And then for us, it's the theme is elements.、Um, I, have to, I, I didn't get to check out her Gen 5 one yet. I think she did, did it after this one,、um, after the stream. So I have to check it out still. But all the designs have been super cute so far. And、uh, for me, she has, de-、uh, she has picked Earth. <clears throat> and so she drew a very beautiful floral themed、uh, dress for myself. And I wanted to、uh, draw it as a monthly wallpaper. Yeah! Mivi is very, very cute. Agreed. So, we're going to be working on, on this side.、Um, the members actually got to a chance to vote on it. So, if you would like you know, to sway the polls, 
I mean, this is a this is a wallpaper for members anyway, so that's why members just got um got the say on which which uh you know what you can call it pose and composition. Um, so if you would like to you know get this as a wallpaper or like uh have a say, then you can definitely think about you know <laughs> joining membership. <laughs> Although I kind of feel like most of you are in membership so it's kind of like you know preaching to the choir a little bit <laughs> mm -hmm. just a touch <laughs> yeah besides last night that was when i realized i should never talk about my legs it's okay mimi your time will come i'm sure your time will come <laughs> when you when you will be in the majority i'm sure mm -hmm. Wait, memberships you can eat it? <laughs> I don't think we are in this sea of green. Yeah, no way, right? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think there's that many members actually. Uh, what, am I, what was I smoking? <laughs> How does one join this so-called member? I don't know. I feel like you should ask this person called Gwen the Sorry, who's obviously definitely not uh, in membership. <laughs> mm -hmm. Possibly. <laughs> Hello, welcome, welcome. And join in. So as I mentioned, um, I might, uh, I might take like a few more bites, uh, of my donut while we stream. So, uh, if you hear me munching, it's it's a very very, uh, sweet. Well, it's not super sweet. It's like very mild sweet. It's like an Asian donut. If you um, so the the sweetness is very mild and soft, which is just exactly how I like it. I don't like it when things are too too overly sweet, you know. What flavored donut? Cream and strawberry. My favorite. <laughs> I was like, yeah, the cream and strawberry is pretty generic enough. It won't dox me. <laughs> you know how like some artisanal donuts places have like super like um super I don't know unique and uh, iconic flavors. Yeah. Thankfully, this one is not. It's just cream and uh, strawberries. Also, I need water. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I recently discovered mochi donuts there to die for. <gasps> yeah! I love mochi donuts. Uh, they're so good. They're... I, I'm only, I don't think there's any around my area though, at least as far as I know, but you know, maybe I'll ask, uh, maybe I'll ask Sonic. <laughs> maybe I'll ask Sonic to do this, um, digging for me and then I'll just like double check that ha the, the place that he finds has like an actual storefront, you know? Um, so that I don't go on a wild goose hunt ever again. Mm -hmm. I know, Toma, thank you so much for the gulp tags, thank you, thank you! <laughs> Your local donut shop occasionally makes them. And we are oh, off so. to the gulp. <laughs> I keep forgetting that there's a there's text to speech on the tips. <laughs> thank you so much for the gulp tags. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, Reno, for the gulp tags. Thank you, thank you. Mm hmm. Yeah, Sonic is the go-to donut friend. I see. I mean. Apparently, that's what that's what he's been sending me these days. But like, he was like, "Oh man, I'm not really much of a sweet person." I'm like, "This sure doesn't sound like it, considering all the dessert places you've been linking me, uh, regardless of their location." <laughs> so maybe maybe they're just in denial, you know. Everyone, get mochi donuts, please. I beg you. No, true, true. Mochi donuts are so good. There's a donut mochi donut place down your road. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. But please buy one in my honor. <laughs> please do buy one in my honor. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Is he still formerly Sonic or is he actually? Guess he's still formerly Sonic, but it's too long of a long to uh say. And I don't feel like you know spending that much effort just uh naming naming him. So. <laughs> I don't want to exert extra effort um, when mentioning him, so uh, <laughs> the friend formerly known as Sonic. Yeah, like that's such a mouthful. I'm like, 
like, no, you don't get that much screen time on my stream. <laughs> <laughs> His name is F Sonic the F is silent. Yes, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone's the hive mind of fr formerly known as Sonic. <laughs> oh, the hive mind is too strong. But yeah, I was like, and I'm too, I'm too, I'm too lazy to like change your change your nickname. For <laughs> friend formerly known as Sonic. What you doing? Uh, let's see if there's one in my area or even country. It's starting to spread. I don't think like uh, I think like a lot of countries, regardless of where they are, are starting to adapt it. I think my, I think Godison is a little little slower on that, or maybe I just haven't been looking because I don't usually look for sweet sweet places. To be honest, um, since I'm I'm usually more the type to love like salty stuff too, um, so. I usually don't do too much, uh, sweet. Hunting for sweets. But my other, my, my, uh, Team Rocket friend, she loves sweets. So, we found out about a few places through her, but surprisingly, the really, the places that we frequent uh, are usually found by either myself or, like, my roommate. <laughs> for sweet stuff. <laughs> I like my sweets cold. Mm, cold. I, I'm, I'm room temperature. <laughs> I prefer my sweets room temperature, I guess. Like pastries. Or, um, yeah, just like pastries. Like, you know. Um, what else? Like, or like a little simple ginger snap. Though, I like those. I realized I look really stern, so I'm gonna change my expression. Stern blush. <laughs> wow. Ah! Irene, there it is! Thank you so much for the raid! Hello, hello! Welcome, welcome, Raiders! Uh, konban, kokonet, I am Yuri Kako Kokonet from VNU, Symphoria, uh, <laughs> I almost ran out of breath. Uh, from the <laughs> VNU Symphoria! Yay! Oh my goodness, thank you so, so much for the raid, Ari! How was your Minecraft stream? Yappy! <laughs> For those who are new here, I am, uh, I do art streams, where as you can tell, I draw a little bit uh, sometimes from, uh, and I do, what else do I do? I do tabletop RPG streams, so, uh, or, well, I haven't been doing it recently, so, um, but I'm starting to rank back, ramp back up, I promise, promise. And I do, um, games. <laughs> Not as often as most vtubers i think but i do do game streams too like you know um <laughs> like balatro um like <laughs> minecraft fake go <laughs> maybe a league once in a while once a blue moon <laughs> ASMR. no i don't do ASMR. <laughs> So, wait, wait, no. Ari does ASMR, okay? Ari does ASMR. Myself, I am but a sham, okay? I don't... <laughs> like, right now, she's speaking in ASMR. Stop! I am... I am a... a <laughs> I am a false... Uh, a false advertisement, Okay. <clears throat> I, I I don't know. Apparently, my streams do get flagged as ASMR, but um, I, the last time I've done ASMR was quite a while ago. I am not very good at it, so... 
Hello, hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm new here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, but I do do chill, you know. Um, uh, uh, chill, yeah, chill, chill streams. <laughs> I was like, what other word can I use? And I was like, um, a chat always, you know, uh, objects when I say it's wholesome and um and stuff so i'm like okay maybe i shouldn't say that anymore um it's definitely not say so unfortunately um it's not that cursed chat come on i'm not that cursed okay i don't say that much cursed things i still firmly believe uh, my 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 t conversation um topics are still quite tame compared to what i know <laughs> Compared to the shit I, I do uh, know, you know, like my overall knowledge, uh, I think the what I what I decide to converse in on a public sh platform is, is is you know not not the worst. <laughs> we banter in the gutter. <laughs> is that a threat? No, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that I, I behave. I behave to a ex certain extent, you know. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Wait till the mandatory cursed art tang tangent later in the stream, then we'll talk. Uh, yeah, then we'll talk, cause it won't happen, okay? <laughs> it won't happen, so you could, you could, you could, uh, not expect that talk to happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trust. <laughs> Coco is spreading misinformation on the internet. What the fuck? Misinformation? Who said it was misinformation? It's a it's information about me. I can decide what's been misinformation or not. There you go. Kono de kurus chikaraga. I'm I am but a simple goddess, you know, a simple dream goddess, um, who just wants to relax, draw pretty things, maybe sometimes a little saucy, uh, saucy stuff, um, but you know, mostly pretty things, uh, and then just have a good time. Yeah, they call her Miss. <laughs> Shut the fuck. Oh my god. Speaking of, speaking of, I did start sketching Leora's thing for, for those that are in the know. I did start drawing the final evolution to the Twitter strip game for Leora Valkyria, who is my uh, company mate in VNU. So, she is a very sexy Valkyrie. And the community uh, has put forth all of their efforts and have managed to um, managed to retweet and like a very high milestone that we kind of like <laughs> thought wouldn't be, wouldn't uh, get hit <laughs> to be uh, uh, perfectly honest. <laughs> but uh, they have managed to do the unthinkable and have managed to hit those milestones. So. Um, we, she, I will be drawing her uh, topless, so to speak. Mm -hmm. She's really hot, you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, 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 she's very, very hot. It took, a, it took nearly a year. Yeah, it took nearly a year. I, I almost expected people to just forget about it, but um, it, it, it lingered. It lingered in the truly loyal minds of the Palkyries. So we'll be doing that eventually. Now, will it be streamed? That I need to confirm. <laughs> I did a few sketches. I'll I'll show them to Leora first, get her approval, you know, because um, in case I draw anything that she's not comfortable with, I don't think so. She's pretty open to everything, so I highly doubt that will be the case. But it's good to be safe, you know. Better to be safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. I honestly didn't think you'd done it after a year. I would. I, I. I. I am true to my words. It may take me a very, very long time to be true to my words, but I will eventually be true to my words. <laughs> I. I can't say that in terms of timing. I am quite a. Uh, 
you know, uh, prompt. But in terms of eventually, yes, I will. I will. Um, <laughs> I will eventually get get around to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lior, could you make them larger? Uh, actually, that might be a possibility, but we'll see. I do. I do get, have the habit of like nerfing the nerfing the uh, Lioras or like the Coconas in my drawings, just because it's a little easier to draw. <laughs> It's it's just more natural to draw them in you know well a uh, a uh, so slightly smaller. <laughs> you know sometimes it it kind of breaks the silhouette a little too much, and I'm like I don't like that. I want it to be I want it to flow into uh, the shapes to flow into each other. <laughs> free Lyras, Lyras, they gotta be so free. <laughs> They will be so free. Just you wait. Oh, is my are my pen lights not on? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will, I will get them back on. Oh yeah, cause I, I need, I need to remap my, uh, macro for this because apparently updating it broke it. So. <laughs> Apparently updating it broke it. Let me just let me do that now actually. Uh copy wait. Uh, copy path. And then we go here. We go into here or we go into here and then we uh select all paste. Aha. There we go. That should work. Next time, it should open everything back up, and it should be good. Mm -hmm. So proportions over hopes and dreams? Yes, always. <laughs> I remember the story about how you were nerfed before debut because yeah, yeah, I was quite, I was quite um m m more uh, well endowed, uh, but then I was just like, oh. It may trigger. Well, it may trigger a few YouTube stuff, so uh, we requested <laughs> for it to be a little nerfed, you know. Um, but in the end, I don't think it was nerfed that much, to be honest. It's still, it's still quite big, you know. And it still does get. Uh, apparently, it still does get censored it when other people use. <laughs> Use me in the thumbnails, so or like in in the in the you know like those news channels or whatever. <laughs> it still gets censored, my my booba. So I was just like, what the fuck? What was even the point of adding modesty, modesty cloth, and nerfing the boobs if I'm still going to be censored anyways? Do you think we could ever see the prototype models? It would have to be where, like, I get approval from uh, my mama because, you know, sketches and stuff, not to, not, not, uh oh, like, every artist feels comfortable sharing that. So I would want to uh, be respectful and check with them first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be fair, that modesty cloth is fighting for its life. <laughs> It's, 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 it's just, you know, there, okay? The, the modesty cloth is, um, chillin'. It's vibin'. Mm-hmm. So, for the belt, I think I'll just make it, like, pretty, like, a chain with, like, a little bit of, like, filigree motif since, uh, it's drawn, like, I think, it, yeah, it's like a chain. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, very. It's very modest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor moon clip on the swimsuit outfit, though. Okay, the moon clip on the swimsuit outfit. True. Also, my chat is doubled up. Hold on. Wait, it's not doubled up. Yes, it is. There we go. Okay. And then these should work. Yes. Okay, it works. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> uh, hello, 
love, hello, welcome, welcome. There we go. We finally have the pen lights back. Uh, we have the hearts back. Is that moon cut made out of adamantite? Um, you know, I never asked the my mama who made my swimsuit, so unfortunately, I can't. Uh, I I I can't uh, say. Maybe, possibly. Wait, actually, you know what? Why am I doing it? Like, why am I doing it in my in my line art layer? I'll do it with a different layer to be um actually. And then she has a lot of flowers here, which I will also do in a different layer because uh it'll probably take a it'll probably take a while. <laughs> The moon clip is made out of hopes and dreams, and somehow it's still there. <laughs> oh, what spurred Mimi Mimi's design? Um, Mimi is a huge fan of idols. Like I um specifically um uh, I don't wait. Oh shoot, Love Live specifically Love Live, and so she wanted to make um idol outfits for all of the VNU girls, like based like her her design of idol outfits for the VNU girls so she was doing a little bit of a drawing series of it and I really I thought it was super cute so I wanted to draw myself in the outfit that Mivi has designed mm -hmm. Mivi's design reminds me a lot of Tiana's dress if she were an idol instead of a princess, a Disney princess. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know she um specifically uh didn't look at Tiana's design just so that she doesn't like overlap too much. <laughs> she didn't want to look at Tiana's uh, dress just in case so she didn't get too you know in uh, influenced uh, by by that outfit. <laughs> and I think it'll be fairly different once um. We we iron out the details and like the fabric and, and stuff. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I think for here. It'll be a low back. And then it's a halter top that goes around like this. So I'll probably do that on a different layer as well. <laughs> You'll see what I mean, but it'll save a lot of time. Mm -hmm. You'll see what I mean, I think. And then... Make sure it looks... I was originally going to do like a... Uh... I was originally gonna do like a butterfly here, but I was like, if it's an idol outfit, should I have a mic? <laughs> if it's an idol outfit, shouldn't I have a mic? You know. Or do I make it like, you know, like these type of mics? Like a music video. Hmm. Cause yeah, butterfly mic. If I do like a mic here, it'll be like uh, like a mic stand. She's going to be singing the cover song that's in the works. Oh, it sure is in the works. <laughs> it sure is in the works. <laughs> but it's kind of stuck there for a little bit. <laughs> like this. And then, I do have Mimi here, but like, maybe I'll lower my hand like this. I think that'll be... Or, I'll just have Mimi, Mimi here, and then... Wait, hold on. I gotta, gotta think. I gotta think about this hand placement. 
I'm sorry. I'll get around to the cover song. It's just been, it's just been a little bit on hold. I feel like <laughs> it's just been a little bit on hold. I will get to it eventually. <laughs> Just been a little hectic. Me oh, did I say Mimi? I meant Mimir. <laughs> did I say Mimi? Don't worry, take your time. No, I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I promise. Just been pretty hectic. How's the drawing going? It's a going. I'm trying to decide on like how. Wait. I should have done this all on a different layer. I'm trying to decide on like the uh, mic and stuff. If I want to even have a mic, you know. Maybe she forgot me mirror. No, I didn't forget me mirror. <laughs> what does uh what does trigger those pen lights heart effects from time to time? Oh, it's when um someone types in pen lights and uh, or hearts. It's very simple. Um, usually it gets triggered by the emotes, uh, but <laughs> it could technically be uh, triggered by the words too. Mm -hmm. Since apparently I can't set it so that it only gets triggered by uh by the emotes. Or maybe I can, eventually. I just need to do a little bit more research. <laughs> I just need to do a little bit more of, uh... Uh, altering on the app that I'm using. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wait, the heart's not working! There we go! Okay, so the heart thing works. Ah. Okay, so the heart is limited to the emo. I don't know why the pen light is like not doing that, but I'll, I'll double check. Yeah. The pen light though, it's... It, you know, it, res it, it, it responds to anyone calling it. You know, it's supposed to only respond to members, but um, the pen light's a little... a little flirty with everyone, so unfortunately I can't, I can't control the pen light to uh, just work for members. <laughs> uh, eventually I'll, I'll get, get around to, uh, you know, Correcting it. Mm -hmm. The pen light does not discriminate. <laughs> it's supposed to! It's supposed to be a membership perk! <laughs> oh, love is the heart trigger. Wait, shh. Don't tell anyone. Don't mention it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well... Just J JK, just don't type love, right? <laughs> Easy solution, turn all green means green. <laughs> we saw nothing that it's too late now. Everyone knows it's the secret, the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> what the fuck? How will I tell Coconut? <laughs> By joining membership and using the heart emote. Yeah! <laughs> Perfect. Now staff can't say I don't advertise my... My... Uh, my membership, uh, my community perks. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's that easy! Yeah! <laughs> thank you, oh my god. Thank you, thank you for all the hearts. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's, it, it, I, I, made, I added it so that, like, you know, the members can have fun with it. So it's not a problem. They have paid for this right to spam the emotes. <laughs> so to speak. It's a pay-to-win system. It's <laughs> I heart you for real, for real. I heart. It's a heart attack. <laughs> I mean, we are paid actors already. Oh, you're not supposed to say that, though. 
Engkau kena <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, but those who do um art are uh are interested in my artwork though, I have I have been slowly but surely uh started adding more uh, images into my Pixiv account. Um do I have it linked anywhere? That's a very good question. Um me did I link it anywhere? I will link it somewhere. <laughs> but uh so keep your eyes peeled if you want to see my artwork in fairly high res because I'm too lazy to like lower the res for some of the images. <laughs> and if you upload it in the original res, it just gets uploaded in that original res and like everyone could just like download it for you uh, to see it with all your glaring mistake uh, mistakes and in brushstroke. So, uh some of them I do I do um resize uh just to keep it you know within the community uh, you know if you pay to see all my mistakes then you can but like if not uh no <laughs> you can't see all my gross ass brush strokes so <laughs> if you can get a membership are you technically a paid actor oh yes you are actually <laughs> Oh, you never got Tim Hint on Discord! Oh no! Final Tim, thank you so much for the 5 cut the membership! Thank you, thank you! I really appreciate it! Thank you! Welcome, members! So if you've been listening to my whole spiel of being a paid actor, I mean, wait, no, of uh, enjoying my artwork and the likes, uh, <laughs> um, please do go check it out. Uh, let me see. Ah, yes. This is my, this is my pixel. Yes. Uh, will I add it anywhere though? Actually, maybe I'll add it into the description. Into this video description. Hold on. Edit. And then we go to... Uh, stream elements. Pixiv. <laughs> Save. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> only above 18 to access... Wait, is it set to only above 18? I don't think I did that, did I? Did I set it to be 18 plus? <laughs> or did it just, you know, get set automatically, in which case I can't... Um... I can't uh, change anything, but like, I don't think I changed it. Edit profile. Cancel. Settings. I'll look at it later. <laughs> Probably automatically. Well, if you're a kid, I'm sorry, but you can't, apparently you can't look at my pixel. <laughs> Maybe they thought it was too spicy, but I don't have anything spicy on there. All my membership uh, wallpapers, they're like heavily, heavily cropped. <laughs> they're heavily cropped. What do you mean? No way. Oh my god. Just click yes. <laughs> yeah, if you're a kid, what are you even doing here? True. Let's see. Do this. Do this. I don't even have my parents' permission to watch your streams. <laughs> Get out of here! You're not supposed to be here. Only 18 plus, okay? I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't take responsibility for for children watching my streams. I do say some um, weird stuff sometimes. <laughs> Mita. Hi, Mita. What are you laughing at? Huh? What are you laughing at, Mita? What? Huh? Do you have something to say? Say it to my face. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi, Mita. <laughs> Mita gets the brunt of it, though. I also don't have parents' permission to be here. Shut up, Mita! Aren't you like 900 something something something? <laughs> Aren't you 999 years old? Was it? 
<laughs> my my mods looking at you, Mita. They're like, are you under the? <laughs> do do I need to kick you out? The mods like looking. They're looking. She had a birth issue, one that- oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay. The birth- I couldn't remember if she was like 998 uh, and then turned 999 or if she was already 999 and uh, uh, turned 1000. <laughs> if baby starts over at uh, 1000, oh, does she revert back to baby? Mita, can you, uh, can you confirm or deny? Do you, t do you revert back to baby once you become 1000 years old? Three digits is only and has to roll over? What the fuck does that make me? I hit my fifth uh, fifth digit though. Why doesn't it roll over for me? Hello? I want to be I want to be young like a thousand years old again. No comment. <laughs> I want to be a thousand years old again. To <laughs> hack love. Coconut baby girl. Oh my god. Although when I went to the dentist in Goddess Land, you know, um, I, I was actually like, <laughs> one of the, you know, one of the dental gods, uh, they looked at my file and they were like, wait, how old are you? And then I was like, oh, 10,000 years old. And they're like, it's not a mistake on the, the system. I was like, no. <laughs> they're like, I could have sworn you're like, you know, 5,000 years old max. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and the, 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 the dentist person brought over another dentist and she was like, Can you believe this girl is only 10,000 uh, is 10,000 years old? They're like, no way! <laughs> They're like, what's your secret? <laughs> I was like, oh, making me feel so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was very cute. It was very cute. <laughs> But she's still good. Does she still get started? No, I don't. Okay. The drinking age is quite young here. I don't think I'll ever get carded anymore. They like kind of don't. Well, they're legally supposed to. So yes, some places do just for legality purposes. But like in terms of like, do they think I'm under the age of drinking? I don't think so. I sure hope so. You don't look a day over 8,500? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, must have been nice. Last time I was there, they just told me to floss more now. <laughs> actually, the, uh, they, like I really like this um, dentist because they actually, you know, are very... Like, you know how some places, they kind of like like say stuff that you really uh, is really unnecessary or like make things way more complicated than they have to be because uh, like they're like the last place i went to they're like oh you should get like bracers just for your wisdom teeth and i'm like why can't you just take them out and they're like ah but like you know like we want to keep them like we we're, we're supposed to keep them and then like if you do use braces it'll like uh, make them grow out properly and then like and then we could see if we need to take them out for like uh, because it'll like cause cavities and stuff like you want me to put braces just to see if you want to pull them out in, uh, in case it's still gonna be prone to cavities what the fuck kind of bullshit is that <laughs> so i was like no i don't need braces uh, I <laughs> So, uh, but they they wouldn't listen to me. They're like, okay, go to this orthodontist. And I'm like, no! <laughs> I already had braces too in the past. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Think of what you could do with those extra teeth. <laughs> yeah, so then like, I was like, yeah, it was, it felt kind of like a scam, right? So obviously I stopped going to that dentist, uh, especially when like I, I was in like a middle of a transitioning period where I didn't have dental coverage. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't, <laughs> I'm fine. I could, I could eat fine. I don't have sensitivity. I don't, I'm not in pain, but then I moved from that area. And then I was like, ah, uh, and then I started getting sensitive teeth, right? So I was like, ah, uh, do I have cavities? I really hope not. Then, uh, then like, I have to go through the whole, like, 
issue with like my uh, wisdom teeth and, and braces all over again. I was like, should I look for a place that's like near an orthodontist too, on top of brace, like on top of dentistry? Uh, so I was like really, uh, pretty stressed about it. But then when I actually went to the uh, dentist, they're like, nah, it looks good. You don't need braces. <laughs> I was like, I don't. They're like, yeah. And like, if it ever becomes, you know, if, it, if the uh, if cavities start to form, like, we'll just take care of it. It's fine. <laughs> I was like, is that simple? And they're like, yeah. I was like, fucking gosh. I knew it. <laughs> And they're like, oh, we could tell that you've been taking good care of your teeth, so really good job. And like, even though it's been a while since your last like cleaning, like, you know, a, quite a bit more than like what's recommended. They're like, it's okay. It's it's good that you're here now. It's good that you're taking taking action instead of like ignoring it forever. So I was like, this, this, I've never been to such a guilt-free dentist. <laughs> Because every single been that this otherwise would make me feel so guilty that I'm not like doing enough of a good of a job like with all the flossing and the water picking and they're still like you need to floss more. I'm like, but I am. So I, I like I like the dentist that I'm with right now. Mm -hmm. Goddess is here, she looks 5,000 years, but she's actually 10,000 years, find out why. <laughs> it's sunscreen, that's a secret. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with my thumb. My thumb... Can I just chop it off? Why do I have a thumb? Actually, I, I need the thumb, but still, like, I'm like... <sighs> how, how, should I, how should I position my thumb? <laughs> it's okay. Oh, Kukuni, that sounds horrific out of context. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just getting a little, a little frustrated with this thumb, you know, thumb situation. I was like, can I just chop it off? Can I just pretend it doesn't exist, you know? I'm a goddess. I could I could have a little bit of body uh body horror. It's it's fine, right? <laughs> it's fine if I have a little bit of body horror because I'm a goddess, right? I don't need to follow exactly to like human human anatomy. And just put it behind me, mirror. True. I really should. I don't know why I'm trying so hard. I could just like hide it behind me, mirror. Oh sure, I forgot my about my donut. Hold on. I'm gonna finish it. Ah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sugar break. Nom nom nom. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm. Not the mythically accurate dream goddess, don't drive us insane. No, please drive us in crazy. That's so much nicer like that. <laughs> wow. I see what you all like. Mm -hmm. I should just like desi start designing Eldritch forms of all the all the VNU girls. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a series out of that. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, this donut's so good. Oh my god. <clears throat> if I had an in in infinite stomach... But unfortunately, my stomach is so limited in space, I can't eat more than one donut. <gasps> Ryan! 
hi, hi. Thank you so much for stopping by. You're so good at drawing. Ah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Ryan, wait. I need to, I need to, I need to slide into your DMs so we could talk about G Gundam together. <laughs> Uh, it was it was late last night, so I forgot after I like passed out. But like, I need to I need to slide into your DMs so that we could talk about G Gundam and stuff. <laughs> yes, G Gundam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. And then like and then like once uh, after my uh so. I usually I do hand cam sometimes or I used to but like because I'm in a temporary space for streaming I don't have space for my web, um hand cam setup but before I used to build gun plus so we could talk about gun plus if you like uh kit building <gasps> but nowadays I, I haven't I haven't touched any of my sandpaper or uh nippers in like months I'm so sad Oh, you love to learn? <gasps> yeah, wait, yeah, right. <laughs> Let's get you on your Gumpla, uh, a Gumpla kit building uh, adventure. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Your drawing has been super relaxing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> MGXia, MGXia is done. Yeah, I finished the uh, Master Grade Axia. He's done. Oh, she's done, technically. It's um real grade uh our uh new Gundam that's in the in the works. Uh, real grade uh new Gundam with a clear co uh clear color. It that one's that one's uh, in in my box, in my uh gun gunpla box because I haven't been able to touch it. If I do, I'll if I take it out here, I'll a hundred percent lose pieces. So I've been I've been controlling myself, okay? I haven't even done my nails, I haven't done gumplas, like all of my crafty little stuff, it's all in boxes. And I haven't touched them so uh in forever because I knew I'll make a mess out of this temporary uh, temporary office. So I've just been plain nails, naked nails. Just um biting away at like the uh you know runners that I can't like cut <laughs> that I can't like you know fiddle with uh, I just have to keep uh wait with bated breath until the construction is done. Not the coco nails, yeah. <laughs> My nails are naked. They haven't been done in so long. <laughs> Although because of that. They are growing out really healthy, though. <laughs> they are growing back out to be incredibly healthy, so they look great. They look good even without nail polish on, be well, be like nail uh, gel nails on. While before, you know, they looked a little rough. Uh, for the uh, like, you know, they looked a little worn. <laughs> and the same, your pretty nails—they're gone. They're gone. They're a thing of the past. <laughs> You know, and it'll probably take me a while to like get back into doing my nails too because like I'll be my hands won't be used to it again. It'll be so it'll be shaky. It'll be like oh god, what what do I have to do again with my with the gel nails? I forget. Let's see. I might need to do this in a different layer. Hold on. It's the whole uh. whole dress area wait i'll do it in a different color so it's like this and then it gets tight here and this part is where the butterfly clip is so we'll leave that here and then we have like these leaves over here so what i might do is make it so that it's kind of like a slightly different shade just a little touch darker like around the edge and it gets a little lighter as it goes up but it's like double layered 
from uh so it's like a slight like um you know like a sheer like shimmery fabric uh i might make it something like that that's like layered on top of a more satiny like um satiny color uh satin color satiny textured fabric for the this part that like connects to the skirt and then and then this part will also be i think i might make it more of a matte uh fabric actually we'll see this one this part i'm not quite sure what fabric to make it and clinton griffin thank you so much for the eight months of membership the lovely coconuts thank you thank you still unsure is dream goddess or uh definitely dream goddess i don't know who the second part is but definitely dream goddess <laughs> So, yes, nothing, nothing outside of Dream, Dream Goddess. I have no other titles. And then we do this. I am unfortunately not familiar with the song. Our goddess. <laughs> No, no, no. Definitely not an art goddess. <laughs> I'm just a simple, you know, silly, silly, silly doodler. <laughs> I just doodle um, all my art, art, art wins. Mm -hmm. Why can't I just be a simple dream goddess? Why are you trying to make me have multiple titles? Why can't I just be a fucking dream goddess? <laughs> <laughs> Silly Doodle Goddess, Ace of Our Goddess, Collector of Oji-san's Undefeated of the North. <laughs> okay, I could be Undefeated of the North. Uh, 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 I, I could be that. That's 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 okay. I, I could take that, take up that title. You did go doodle ne, cause you're a dream goddess and more to us. <laughs> because we can dream. Oh, that's fair. Hmm, I don't know how I want to do this, like, fabric part. You're too special for this world, you need to, you need to serve at least 20 titles! <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, but I'm just a simple, silly, silly, uh, artist, you know? Silly, sim drawing goddess that, you know, also has to take care of dreams, uh, on the side, but, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, if I do the, uh, I'm gonna, like, Could be like this. So then the fabric would be like that and then like that. Wait. No, I should probably make it like this. Yeah. The legs underneath should probably be more like this. Like this? Or or like this. Oh well, that might be better. Yeah, that might be better. I could have a little little shoe popping out right here. In which case... In which case... This is- this was the- wait, wait, I need to change- I need to change the pen back- pen back. Okay, okay, that's fine. In which case, it'll be like this. Not in front of my salad goddess, no! Don't associate me with that! All I did was just teach you. some of the uh, Gen 3 girls where that meme came from, okay? It is not associated with me whatsoever. Lies and libel, lava, what the fuck? That is not uh, associated with me, okay? Sign I echo! <laughs> it's you and me thus fault! Look at- look at this! Now I'm being associated with this when it was you and me that said it! Why is it me? I was just letting you all know that there is a- there is a very particular- particular origin to that- this meme! <laughs> Come back here, go! <laughs> Get your ass back here! <laughs> 
I can't believe I'm taking the blame for this. When I wasn't even the one who said not in front of my salad. <laughs> oh my god. King. Gentry, the troublemakers. <laughs> and she's up. Yeah, damn it. Okay, I think I like this shape. Yeah. So then we just erase this whole part because it is no longer valid. And then I think I might add like a little bit of like, ooh, maybe I'll make it layered. You know, it's like brown. So like maybe I'll, and then it's like the dirt. It's technically supposed to um uh represent the the, the dirt, <laughs> the ground, the earth. So maybe I'll make it layered. So like there's like a little bit of darker darker uh colors here and then it gets a little lighter mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we'll see we'll see how it looks <laughs> so, someone has to take the fall when <gasps> it has to be me i have to take the fall why <laughs> why does it have to be me then <laughs> oh yeah you did earn another title recently found your father oh yeah <laughs> fucking roa <laughs> and her found father Dang it. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, there's also gonna- there's also, um, these things. The- it's like- it's like a- I don't know how to call it. It's like, um, kind of toga-like. <laughs> kind of toga-like, uh, sleeve of a veil. Cape. I don't know if there's like a better better way to like describe the this piece, but it's kind of cape like, it's kind of sleeve like, yeah. You're the senpai, the bearer of responsibility. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> I never asked for these responsibilities. <laughs> She did talk about togas when she made them. Yeah, she talked about togas. So I think it's like um very like inspired by the togas. Toga shapes. <laughs> father? No! I'm I'm not father, okay. But a certain a certain bear does call me founding father. <laughs> I might make these like layered. Yeah. I might make these a little more layered. There's a little there's a there's like a bit of like, you know, artistic liberties we could take because um it's a you know, she did it fairly she simplified it quite a bit, so there's a bit of artistic liberty we could take. And I might add like uh like a flower with like leave and then like a droplet earring because i do have earrings everyone i know everyone likes to forget but i do have earrings <laughs> like long dangly ones so i will add that to myself yeah the coconut is the father who stepped up <laughs> what about daddy no <laughs> i refuse to be called daddy <laughs> then i might give myself a a bracelet since I also have bracelets. <laughs> yeah. This is looking looking fine. And then I will also figure out the hand here. <laughs> I might as well take the time to like figure out the hand here. So I don't end up in this situation where I'm like, what do I do with the thumb? Okay, Mother Nature, coconut is something I didn't know I needed. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, it's very Mother Nature like, which honestly, I'm I'm all for it. I do like Earth. 
I do like nature. And to be honest, I actually thought it would be like the element that people would associate with me the most. Um, but I, I realized eventually, I, I realized soon enough that it wasn't. So I was, I was, I was pretty surprised. For me, I always thought I resonated with Earth the most. So it was pretty interesting to see that like Earth was like the one that people thought of the least for me. Hmm. Quick, cover the hands and, and stuff. Artist's best friend covered hands. I like hands though. I like hands though. <laughs> it just you know it just takes a while to uh figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> just takes a little bit of time to figure it out. Yeah. There you go. That's that's fine. Yeah. The ears are coming out nicely. Thank you. I hope I hope if people will start to remember that I do have earrings. <laughs> I hope more people remember start remembering that um I do I do in fact wear earrings. <laughs> I think like Omoria, even after a year, she was like, wait, Kokona Senpai had earrings? <laughs> I was like, haven't you seen haven't you used PNGs on me for like an year? <laughs> And she's like, <laughs> it's so covered though. Yeah, it is very covered, so I don't blame. But also, I'm like, my pretty earrings. <laughs> mm mm mm. Okay, this seems good. <clears throat> Are you going to change them to another design or staying with the dream catchers? Mm -hmm. I might change them with like if I ever get like, you know, another outfit, but that's like if ever. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, I might like get the get like more visible ones. Mm hmm. I remember you have earrings because I drew them in detail, then I had to erase them because of your side hair position. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> I've done that too. <laughs> I've definitely done that too. So I do apologize. I feel your pain. I, f I, I truly feel your pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, for the drawing specifically? Yeah, they're gonna be like, they're gonna be more plant based. Like, uh, more flowery and like, uh, greenery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think these ones are supposed to be buds or small, small leaves. I think Mivi said they were small leaves. Yeah. They're very much outline my 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 assets if you <laughs> they very much are outlining my assets also what if i just what if i add like oh yeah 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 i need a you know it's an idol outfit i need a little little something something you know a little headdress accessory yeah should I make a... Should I make a... A hairband? Maybe. You're gonna take a nap? Thank you so much for stopping by! Get some good rest! Recover well! <laughs> I like how this... Where this is going. Yeah. Now to actually draw it all out. 
now to actually draw it all out. It shouldn't be too bad. I feel like I've been getting more accustomed to, you know, the way I draw on stream. <laughs> so it's actually um, becoming a lot faster for me. As, as mentioned, I was still figuring out how I wanted to, how, how I wanted my style to be for stream. And now I think I've been getting into the groove of things so things are things are getting faster <laughs> are you counting us for us distracting you uh you can't distract me i'm a professional <laughs> what do you mean you distracting me there's no way <laughs> A coconut, this design reminds me of no uh, Nofika. Uh, Nofika from Final Z14, the goddess that resides over good. Oh, yeah, Nofika! I was like, Nofika? I haven't seen it in English in a while. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mimi! Mimi! Hi, Mimi! <laughs> Everyone, please say hello to the designer of this beautiful dress. It's Mimi and the Peanut! <laughs> Hi 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 welcome welcome for the coconut <laughs> Hello Do you like it? <laughs> Do you like it? It looks like this so far <laughs> Hopefully I am doing your design justice uh, and it will be um me holding a mic, you know, the, the idol the idol way and um um Mimir will be here as a lump. <laughs> Looks so beautiful. Yay! <laughs> Yay! So um for the coconuts, please do say hello to the designer of this outfit. She is the one who uh drew this for me, so yeah. Is she sitting on the vine string? Uh vine swing? No, I'm just gonna make it the ground. Actually, will the, will the mic make sense? Should I make- should I change it to like... Should- uh, okay, so there's- okay, wait, maybe, 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 you're the idol, you're the idol, um, you're the idol pro. Should I m make it so that like, you know, like a butterfly is on my finger and then just have like, you know, like those ear, uh, microphones? Or should I have it like a mic stand? But I am sitting. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh, <laughs> yes, Nivi truly has the me vision. Butterfly and earpiece. Okay, <laughs> she has spoken. <laughs> That's super duper cute. Yay! Hello, hello. Put the e butterfly wings on the headset mic, and we got ourselves a magnet. Yes, <laughs> we got ourselves a magnet if we have the butterfly, but. I prefer the more like classical like headdress for an idol. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> she knows her idols. Yes, maybe does know her idols. So I needed it. I needed the professional's opinion. <laughs> let me look, let me look up a uh, microphone <laughs> headset headset images. Just to, just to make sure I know how they look like. Oh, is it one-sided? It might just be one-sided. Does it show up on the other side? I don't think it does. Oh. Wait, does it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, oh, yes. Yes, it does. Okay. It does. It does. There, it, 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 they have stage mic. Yeah, and um, I, I think ha stage mic might work better. Idol stage mic. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, 
okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. So, it's like... Yeah, this part, it's fine. Like, to have it like this. I might make it like... I might make it the VNU heart, you know, uh, shape. Because it seems like a lot of them have custom shapes, uh, depending on the idol. And then over here, yeah, um, this part, it's like, there's like a little, like, um, you know, battery pack or something. Or like a little, little bigger thing. And then like the ear, earpiece, and then it gets connected to the microphone like that. So we, we won't, we won't, uh, we won't think about that one. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. We just we'll just uh focus on the parts that we can't see. I don't cook when I'm dying. <gasps> Oh man, it'll be so cute if we get like all of the VNU girls in like a coordinated outfit, an idol outfit, and then we all look very cute to have a group picture. But you know, VNU will have to pay for that because I don't think I'll have enough time to do it myself. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, I don't know if I could draw that much, that many girls <laughs> in one go. <laughs> And you idol arg. Oh man. Right, what, what do you mean? We are idols. We were always in the idol arc. Hello? Rude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What, uh, me? Idol? Uh, no. It's, it's, yeah. Now that's a sham. <laughs> We do this. We do this. Stream crown us. Yeah, stream crown us. We are idols, I guess. We have an original song. Yeah, that's that's idol enough. <laughs> that's pretty idol behavior to have an original song. That's like fully, fully budgeted out. The wazoo, you know. <laughs> Wait, what are some for us? Pen light colors? Is there a purple pen light? I mean, I think there's a purple pen light, right? Then that uh, purple would be me. And then Lofi, I believe, is uh, uh, yellow, actually. And then Leora's is blue. But do we have one as a Symphoria color? Like Symphoria as a group? Oh, I don't think so. Our Symphoria's logo, they made it really rainbow. <laughs> Symphoria as a group, I think they made the group logo pretty rainbow, so there isn't like a clear color for just like Symphoria. Yeah. It's time for show. <laughs> The universe is just a mission. I should sing it for one of uh, one of my car karaoke's. <laughs> I should sing it for one of my karaoke's one um eventually. It's like the few songs we definitely a hundred percent can <laughs> and retain it on on the archive. So. Yeah, I should make use of it, you know? Oh, but... Oh my god, wait. Actually, if anyone... If anyone here hasn't listened to DK's version of Symphoria... Uh, of Crown Us, highly, highly recommend. Leora and I were messaging each other. We're like, we fucking busted it up laughing. Like, listening to that. <laughs> it was so good. It was a true idol rendition. It truly was. It was so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where do we find it? I think she tweeted it. Hold on. Um. It was peak perfection. 
Oh, which account did she tweet it on? I think it was still before she got her her account back, so potentially. Maybe was it? Oh my god, why are why are so many of her like Wait, okay, I think it- no, I think it was after. D K D underscore K. K, V, and U. This one. Pretty sure she posted it, so... Of- of her singing- oh my god, I don't think- I don't... Did I get delete? Oh wait, no, no, I found it, I found it, I found it! Okay, wait, okay, okay. Copy link, and here you go. If you want to hear it in all... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but if you want to hear it in all its glory, its full glory, it, uh, please do check out DK's uh, April 1st uh, stream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also make a little appearance in that stream. Uh, so please do go check it out. <laughs> I watched that live and I still can't believe it was real. <laughs> yeah, I watched that live too and I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> I can't wait until everyone hears this. <laughs> I'm back and I'm dead. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> I'm glad she uploaded it on Twitter so that I could easily link people. Because it'll probably take me a while if I wanted to go and find her April 1st uh, stream. <laughs> that was the stream of all time, I know. That was the stream of all time. Truly a banger. She, she also covered, um, uh... Wild Things by Solstice as well, so... <laughs> Wait, she did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I was like, did I just dream it all up? Which, honestly, was very is very possible because of how wild that stream was. So... <laughs> I was like, it was just a fever dream. Yeah, Rosa did the Karana Sina karaoke. Yeah, she did! It's in one of her archived karaoke's. If you want to listen to uh, Roa's version of Karana's, um, I think it's in her first archived karaoke stream. Does she only have one archived karaoke stream? <laughs> but yes. Definitely... I, I hope more more VNU girlies sing Crown Us. That'll make me very happy. And I'll like save it all into like a playlist. <laughs> save it all into a playlist and listen to it whenever I I want to listen to Crown Us. I think she only has one. Oh, okay, then it's in that one. Yeah, then it's in that one where she covers uh, Crown Us. Or covers? Like, does uh, sing, sings Crown Us in karaoke. Oh, my throat is in pain. Mm. Okay. There we go. Oh, ah, yeah, we're almost done with the with the line art. Although maybe I should make this my hair a little less, you know, floofy. I don't think it's this this big. <laughs> I don't think my hair is this big. Zelda! <laughs> is it a jump scare? <laughs> or is it the, the alert? That's a jump scare. The, the alert is a jump scare, actually. Thank you so much for the gold tip. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> 
Fucking tea text to speech. I should I should disable it. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> Mimi, thank you so much for the gold. Thank you, thank you. True. Why not both? It kind of is both. Okay, and now we start. Um. Hmm. Sorry, I'm like, I'm like thinking. I was like, do I want to like? <laughs> do I want to do the outline of all the more complicated like uh, accessories, or do I want to just leave it for like a stroke layer? And but by that I mean like the whatever I draw on a certain layer, it just autom automatically gets like a, it's like a, like an outline, but it's like consistent. So it's not exactly like you know how line art has weight line weight and like fluctuations and stuff i won't get any of that but like for small stuff it's it's more than plenty and very useful so i wonder if i should just do that for like all the all the ch chains and like dangly bits <laughs> yeah i probably will yeah i probably should <laughs> just for the sake of uh time No, I had grown attached to te uh, text to speech, Chan. <laughs> no, text to speech. That could only pronounce my name as Kokone. I can't. Nah, nah, nah. Text to speech and I were we're not we're not we we're, we're not on good terms. <laughs> we are not on good terms. The text to speech and I. Although that was that one was what was it? What was his name? Brian. That's the text to speech name. Of the one um uh echo and amoria used <laughs> where they had to write coco nay in order for it to pronounce my name <laughs> she's hitting the coco nay <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then <laughs> at one point it called me a coco nisan and i was just like what like liam nisan am i am i really truly the undefeated of the north now I didn't know I took up this title. When did I become the undefeated of the North? I don't know, but apparently. No, Kukunya, no. Oh my god, I love you, Nintendo. Oh, Nintendo. Yes, I am now Koko Nisan. Hello, nice to meet you all. I want to make my shoe kind of like a little peep toe sandal. Um, because it's like, I think sandal works best for like earth, you know? Earth vibes. <laughs> where you could, uh, where it's not like fully covered. But I also do want to cover my toes, so it's a peep toe. Yeah. I, have, I actually have a shoe just like this. This hello hello welcome welcome. She knew before anyone said anything. I know, I know. Chat, uh, you and your fucking feet fetish. Uh, Actually, it's like it's like just VTuber VTuber fan base in general. Uh, for some reason, y'all are crazy about are crazy about feet. I don't understand. Actually, I should probably ask Misma. <laughs> I should probably ask Misma. I, I saw her. I saw her H tag tier list. I, I should ask her. <laughs> Please give me you know a dissertation uh, a dis dissertation on why feet is actually pog my feet are overrated that's what i'm saying oh. 
Like, sure, a little peep toe could be cute. Uh, little sandals are cute, but it's not because of the feet. You know? But <laughs> feet are just weird looking hands. I would like to blame it on America. On America, is everything is measured in feet. <laughs> oh, you know, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's America <laughs> because they use feet as measurements. Hmm. But do you really want to know? Honestly, probably not. I don't- I don't think I want to be able to understand. <laughs> I actually have like friends who are like legit like kind of feet phobic. <laughs> they said they, they- they get really grossed out when they even see like, um, like the most uh, manicured and like cleanest looking feet. They're just like, So, I'm used to people like that, you know, being around me, and then uh, suddenly, I'm on the internet, and everyone's just like, Oh my god, feet? Like them grippers? A pog? <laughs> For free? I'm just like, what the? Hmm. Hmm. My arm is looking kind of big. <laughs> there we go. But this now needs to be redrawn. It was looking kind of just, just overall big. It's not like thickness, but it's just a little long and thick in proportional to the rest of my body. I think it was like, just in general, 10% bigger than what it was supposed to be. <sighs> Going to a beach or a pool must be crazy. Yeah, I don't think that friend was very, uh, you know, happy about going to beaches and stuff. <laughs> I don't think they were very uh, enthusiastic about going to beaches or like pools. Pretty sure they very, very rarely went. I mean, it's kind of like it's kind of like me too. I don't like going to the beach or like public pools because you know, sanitation and whatnot. Um, I do like like um, sitting near beaches because I do find it the sound uh, very soothing and the landscape very soothing. But like, do I want to go inside the the ocean? That's a different story. Then I'll be like, a hair no. <laughs> Hell no, I'm not going into that pee-pee water, exactly. Pee-pee <laughs> and poopy water. No, thank you. I'd rather just, you know, take a shower. <laughs> mm. Mm. Depending on the beach, yeah, a lot of them are dot dot dot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and like, when I was a kid and I didn't care, I, you know, all I remember is like, the, the salt water going into my mouth. So then when I think about it, I'm like, yeah, I'm never gonna do that. Like, I'm never gonna give the ocean a chance to go to enter my mouth ever again. I was like, no way. Mm -mm. <laughs> I've seen Jaws. I'll stick to pools. Jaws gave sharks a bad rap. <laughs> Jaws gave sharks such a bad rap. The sharks are just... Uh, they just want to chill. <laughs> they just, you know, want to eat little fishies. <laughs> they're so cool though. Yeah, they're so cool though. And like, there's like... There, there's like a... Experiments done where people will get like, you know... Uh, human blood and just like... Release that into the ocean in like a bucket. And then like... um Compared, uh, compared it to like a bucket where it's like fish blood and the sharks really only react to like the fish blood because they know humans are kind of <laughs> we're kind of not great for food did you know for like animals out in the wild we're kind of not great for food first of all the the effort in order to hunt the, hunt us kind of high right because we all try to defend ourselves even though we may not do it successfully we all do try to uh, defend ourselves and sometimes we have, uh, some of them have guns, some of them have knives. It's a little risky. 
And then like the like, meat to bone ratio, honestly, and like fat to bone, uh, fat to meat ratio, honestly, not that great <laughs> compared to other options they have. <laughs> Tell, try telling that to cannibals. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, those are, you know, th that's that's special, I think you could say. <laughs> I'd prefer sushi too, to be honest. Same. I'd prefer sushi too. Mm hmm. Oh no, dolphins on the other Yeah, how is it that dolphins, the uh, the freaking like, you know, the terrorizers of the ocean, had got such a good friendly neighbor, like, um, like, adorable, just, you know, wants to be human's best friend vibes, and then the sharks got like, you know, the, the absolute terrorizers reputation, when it's the other way around. <laughs> Or like orcas, jeez, uh, don't like or orcas just terrorize everything and everyone. They're like the only things that could terrorize moose, and that says a lot. The only like natural enemy like moose have, uh, basically an orca because they can't fucking swim as well as orcas. <laughs> orcas definitely have horror movies. Uh, oh, do they? Do they have horror movies? I've never seen it. All I see, all I've known is like Free Willy, where the uh, the poor orca was uh, was like, well, you know, depressed and sad. Happy feet. We happy. Oh, <laughs> true. <laughs> okay, true. The orca. I didn't watch it, but like Happy Feet's the Penguin movie, right? Yeah, Orcas definitely would be evil in there. <laughs> Dolphins also aren't always jerks. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. Orcas have a bad rep, but they uh, get sympathy because of Free Willy and Sea World. Yeah, those are actually very intelligent. Have worked together with humans to catch fish. Oh yeah, I did see that. Or like, or um, of like dolphins uh, work together with like uh, humans. Yeah, they're very smart though. Like, they, I mean, they aren't called like the smartest like you know mammals for nothing. For, uh, I think they have like, wait no, they're not like the. I don't think they were the smartest. Were they the smartest? I don't remember. But they are very like they're like the top three <laughs> for sure. You go with his first thoughts was not the movie. It was. It was. It was the movie. Ah. <sighs> oh. <laughs> the dolphins know how to look cute, just like yo, erm. I mean, nothing. They do. They do have you know, the the, like. The the beauty genes working for them, the cute genes working for them. Dolphins are scarier than sharks, honestly. Yeah, like I think generally, I wouldn't be too. Uh, I don't know. Uh, actually, I need to do some research on that. I'm like, would you be? Would, should you be alarmed if you see, a, like, if you if a dolphin comes up to you? I don't think they kind of. I don't think they really like. Uh, you know, uh, metal in a negative way with humans. They're more curious, if anything, usually, I believe. Sharks? And then sharks are just like, yeah, no, fuck, leave me alone, please. Um, yeah. <laughs> usually it just means you get the dolphin swimming buff, right? I was like, they're... Uh, dolphins don't, aren't too, like, aggressive with humans. Uh, you know, if you're, like, another sea creature that's that's tiny, on the other hand, if you're, like, a blowfish, on the other hand, then they'll, they'll, they'll bite you for, just for that high. <laughs> they will bite you for, to get that high from your poison, so, um, there's stuff like that. You'll be their, you know, um, you know, little, little kick, uh, toxic volleyball. <laughs> You know, depends on the mood of the dolphins. <laughs> fair, fair. Oh, uh, why? 
hands are not very stable today. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but my hands aren't very stable today. I have... It just be one of those days, you know, where the hand is not cooperating the most with you. Although, it might just be because, like, <laughs> I did a few sketches um, during lunchtime, so then I already used up my uh, stable hand um, reserve. So, I'm... It might, it might just be, I, I used it all up. I used my steady hand uh, reserve for the day. <laughs> Bites gently. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> yeah, basically they're like, um, mm. oh, I, I like the tingle, you know? Oh yeah. <laughs> that's the good stuff right there. And then the poor, the poor pufferfish is like, I'm fighting for my life here. Why aren't you fucking dying? <laughs> Hello, this is meant to be lethal. Could you be normal for once? <laughs> Wait, what? Um, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's it's the dolphins, not not me. You know, it's the dolphins and the the puffer fish. We were just a little a little role playing. What it what it's probably like. <laughs> what it's probably like the day the day in life of puffer fish and uh, dolphins. Sounds like people enjoying a bit of spicy food. Oh, am I the dolphin? <laughs> am I the dolphin? I, I do love me my spicy food, like a lot. Uh oh, am I the problem? <laughs> oh no. Today I learned I'm basically the dolphin. We're the dolphin of the lands for chilies, yeah! The chilies just like, bro, I'm trying to preserve myself and you're eating me for fun? This is supposed to deter you! What's wrong with you? And we're just like, mmm, that kick. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the kick is real good. The stronger, the better. <laughs> Oh god, it's true. So the Coco Gilgals are sonar? No. Oh no. I didn't think this would this would be the revelation that I'll have today. That I'm the dolphin. I'm the problem. Okay, I think. This is looking good enough as an initial outline. So I will paint in this. Oh wait, I forgot my thumb. You're right, I did cut off my thumb. <laughs> I chopped it off. There we go. I was mentally thinking like, nah, I didn't chop off my thumb. It's it's just, you know, my, my stable hand, like... My uh my hand's not stable anymore because I already used it up uh, for today. But I was just like, oh nope, I did I did actually chop off my thumb. Never mind. You're right. The th the thumb has been chopped off, but it's back now. No worries, it's back now. The butterflies ate it. Holy shit, carnivorous butterflies! Wait, actually, I read a manhwa where that was actually a a, a premise. <laughs> Man eating butterflies. The art was fucking gorgeous in that um uh manhua though, so I, I should take it I should pick it back up. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure that's real. Honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if there's man like carnivorous butter butterflies out there. Pretty sure that's real. You're right. Mm. I think I know that manga. Oh shoot, what was it called? Ah, uh, what was that? What was the monk? I don't remember what it was called, but I, it was very, uh, very, very pretty. For some reason, I want to say Penelope, but that's Lofi. I can't tell if I'm just confusing the two. Um, but I, it was like a name of the main character. <laughs> what was it? Um, 
Lofi does not have carnivorous butterfly, just in case. Uh, anyone is curious? <laughs> Penelope who? Lofi! Of course, the name of the butterfly is called Harvester. Oh shoot, there are carnivorous butterflies! <laughs> Wait, oh wow. Apparently there are no human flesh-eating butterfly, but there are carnivorous butterfly. Harvester butterflies. Oh, they eat caterpillars? Oh, they do look like they're, they'll be little, little, you know, carnivorous things. They look more mothy, moth-like than butterflies. She doesn't have carnivorous butterflies that we know of. True. <laughs> Why is nature like this? You know, nature, doobie, you know, sometimes I'm like, why do people need to get high? They could just look at nature and be uh, easily, like, easily their creativity will pale in comparison to Mother Nature's uh, creativity. That, she, she's on some, some otherworldly thing. <laughs> she, 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 her creativity, damn, it'd be on another different level. Animals get high all the time, too. Yeah. <laughs> yep, they do. Just like the... was it? Wallabies. Wallabies in uh, Australia or Australia that like got high and started started running around in circles and started creating like these mystery circles that humans were like, what the fuck are these? And it was just like um, fucking wamb uh, wall wallabies just high as shit. Because they grow a lot of like, you know, the um, uh, the plants used for opium. What's it? I watched that video too. <laughs> yeah, I keep your pets away from alcohol because they will drink it. <laughs> uh huh. Oh man, birds getting drunk as hell because of the uh, fermented nectar in plants. <laughs> Uh, fun times, I suppose. <laughs> it's like the dolphin, you know, getting a little bit of that kick from the puffer, uh, puffer fish. Yeah, animals know how to party too. <clears throat> Let's see. Do I? I'm gonna make these seed translucent, so I should mask these off. Hold on, I'm doing some mental notes on how to deal with this base layer. Oh shoot, this one's supposed to not be filled in. Hello? There we go. And then like that, and then like that, and then we blend this. Blend, blend, blend. But Australia is more of an example of overkill. You know how many weird, bizarre things exist in Australia? Oh, don't even get me started. I just watched a video on all of the crazy things that Tasmania alone has. <laughs> Today, I just uh, today watched a uh, watch a video on a whole doc uh, a whole thing on ta Tasmania, the island, right, right, right south of uh, the Australia's main mainland. I should be wilding. <laughs> Forgot to this, but the talk reminds me of some researcher who uh, gave. Uh, oh, the yeah that dolphin the one that got a lot of controversies with the with the lady that was taking care of it who's just an intern trying to do their best because they were like really young they didn't have any sort of form of formal um like training and then the researcher was just like yeah be be sexy for the dolphin yeah be <laughs> And no one gave the researchers shit, but they all concentrated on like the the female like oh my god what a scandalous lady oh my gosh she did what to a dolphin jeez what a heathen and it's like hello isn't it the the, the researcher that basically gave her a lot of the direction and then just left 
left her to her own accord afterwards. It'd be sexy for the dolphin, yeah. There's a great documentary uh, documentary about it. Ooh, maybe I should watch it. I mean, I know the researcher did get some shit like too, but like not not the pub publicity that the the female got for being all like, oh my god, that dolphin fucker. It's like no, no. I mean, some things got a little, you know, some things got a little weird, but no. <laughs> Yeah. Just paled in comparison. <laughs> they got all of that sh all of the shit for all for the all of uh for all of the drugs, yeah. Researchers got plenty of shit, but not from the papers because researchers tells Lady to screw Dolphin is as good of a headline that says Lady lays Dolphin. Yeah, basically. Basically. It's like the researcher just didn't get the pub public execution that the lady got because they were like, oh my god, this would be such great headlines, you know. Dolphin fucker. Mm -hmm. It's like wow, way to ruin a young, a young, uh, a young girl. Cause she was really young. Um, like super young, I believe. Way to ruin one 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 girl's career. Just <laughs> uh, that that's that that nickname just is is not never gonna go away. Yeah, it's. It's not gonna go away. That's her nickname forever. For life, basically. Mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> All for the dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> All because the researcher was like, yes, dolphins can definitely learn how to talk. <laughs> that was, that was, uh, for anyone who didn't know, like, the research, that was the premise. That's what they wanted to prove. That dolphins can't learn how to talk. And that's how... Uh, and somehow that evolved... In, devolved? Evolved? Into... Uh, giving uh, dolphins LSD and head. Uh, like, hand, a hand job. Not head, sorry. A hand job. Mm hmm Oh, you know, one thing leads to another. <laughs> yeah. One thing leads to another and... Well, poo, whoopsie fuck. That's a, a lot of questionable things happen indeed. <laughs> it reminds me of that science can go too far. Oh yeah, for sure. Science can always go too far. <laughs> science can always go too far, unfortunately. I mean, I do love science, but yeah, you know, sometimes, sometimes you should ask, you know, not like, you know, if we can, but if we should. And a lot of times that does get ignored. <laughs> It's like, yeah, can't we can, but should we? <laughs> usually the answer is no. <laughs> and just FYI, usually that might be no. Um, so <laughs> reality is crazier than anything you think think of sometimes. Yeah, reality do be wild, which is why I really do like documentaries because you know that shit's crazier than what of what people can think of, and I'm like, wow. Humans are crazy! <laughs> you humans! Uh, you're fucking crazy! And I love it! Uh, watch. Uh, re uh, I'll, I'll consume that shit every day. <laughs> Reminds me of when they gave radioactive milk to people who see what to see what would happen. They acted surprised when they got- What the fuck? Okay, I don't know that one. Oh my god. Oh, I, I gotta jot it down for other do uh, to look up if there's documentaries on it and then see. <laughs> People really are just like, yeah, but what if? <laughs> now, real science is how much can we? <laughs> True. How much can we until things go too far? Uh huh. The humans were young? Oh no. I mean, it's like, yeah, that's just, that's fucked up no matter the human, human's age, but like, holy shit. That's, it's like, what, what do you think was gonna happen? Hello? It's like, don't you already have enough case studies where like, the, the, um, uh, 
ladies who took up work, who w went to like those uh, watch factories, and basically the the original watches that glow in the, those glow in the dark watches, it was radioactive shit that they were painting onto the dials. So and then the the people working there, usually female, um, because it was like you know the the easiest. Uh, yeah, the radium girls. Um, basically, in order to paint it, it's super fine the dial on the watches so they would lick the brush in order to be able to paint in there because no one knew that it's poisonous and there wasn't and you know obviously education wasn't as widespread i mean even with education we still have stupid shit happening but it, it was worse that worse back then and then uh companies would be like oh no 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 right right like it's not poisonous at all. Like, I don't know why they're getting sick. It must be something else. And then, like, they were, like, um, covering up any, like, researches done, etc., etc., for a while, too. And it was just a whole mess. Mm -hmm. It was somehow worse back then, and that's crazy to think. Because <laughs> it's so, because things are so fucked up now. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little crazy to think of, but, you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Learn, 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 get educated. <laughs> yeah. Because save your life, you know. It was be Before we really knew how bad it was, we did uh, still know it was bad, so it should, it should never have been a thing if, uh, even back then. Yeah. Yeah. But then people saw green. People saw money. People are like, oh my god. Shh. They don't need to know. Wait, what the? No. Go. Now we put make this into multiply. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Two types of queen in this case. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Truly was two types of green. <laughs> green is just... Man. Green is just... A, a color that is... That has a lot of things. That, that has a lot of problems. <laughs> the thing with the green paint... Uh, wait, I forgot what the what the chemical was. Uh, it, it's not coming in. It's, it's at the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember it. Uh... <laughs> was that also radium the the green that they used in the paint for like the walls and stuff i don't think it was radium right it was like a different like uh it was like a material uh ah uh, <laughs> why can't i think of it what the fuck why i used to know it off the top of my head too hello rain arsenic yes arsenic Arsenic was the one they used in like to get this like really vibrant green. Uh, is that arsenic? Yeah. Uh, in like the paint, and then they would like basically paint the walls in that vibrant green because it was hip. And to be honest, it is very pretty. Like with like the green and like the dark oak, like dark uh, wood color, um, with like mahogany. It's very luxurious. Um looking so i could see why it became big but also that shit was poisoning everyone <laughs> um because you know it's it's literally in their walls um yeah don't forget let a mercury base paint it's just adding to that mix you know <laughs> just why don't we add it to that list of all the things that could possibly kill us and put it all into this one fantastic uh, bundle called the Victorian House. Was it Victorian? I don't remember the time timeline too well, but... <laughs> green, the ultimate cursed color. No, I love green. I'm gonna be wearing green. Don't worry, it's not, it's not you know, poisonous color. It's not poisonous green. Trust, trust. Maybe, maybe it would never paint me. Uh, maybe it would never put me in a, in a poisonous colored, uh, poisonous dress. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
right, Mifi? You were never right. <laughs> she would never put me in a poisonous colored dress, right? Not poisonous to goddesses, at least. Oh, true, true, true. I just remember the ad. I hope the lead I mine is in your pain. What the? An ad? Oh, like back then when they put like, I hope the lead that I mine is in your pain. Oh my god. That's <laughs> so bad. That's so bad. Jeez. I wonder if they like took like a person to like model for that advertisement and then they were still uh, and like I'm sure they were still alive uh, probably I don't think it took that long did it for the for people to be like oh shit that is like really dangerous and killing everyone and then they probably like oh my god please get my face off that advertisement please 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 <laughs> Actually, wait, no, if there are minors. Oh, that's dark. Never mind. I won't think about it. Okay. Wait, they were under 18? They were under 18? Oh, no. <gasps> Oh no! These young souls that should have not been mining lead. Oh, my eyes are so dry! Holy shit! Wait, hold on, sorry. <laughs> For some reason, my eyes are so dry today. Actually, it's been like my, 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 my eyeballs and like my sinuses have been kind of, kind of fucked up. These, uh, the past few days, I think it's the uh, allergies. I think they're kicking in. I want to, I want to, I want a refund. I don't want allergies to fuck me up, please. <laughs> Give them a drink. Wait, what? <laughs> why are why are more than one? Why is more than one person saying to give my eyes water? Hello, is that a thing? <laughs> miners, miners, the miners, miners joke always goes over swimmingly. Oh, right. <laughs> I see, I see. Do <laughs> you know already? We're always a we're a hive mind, Drew. I always forget, and then you always pr uh, show show me how much of a hive mind you are. For some reason, it always takes me by surprise. <laughs> Even though I should be, I should be aware of it by now. <laughs> eye drops are actual water to the face <laughs> i do have wait uh, i do have eye drops somewhere i'll look for it after the stream though i'm sure i'll survive <laughs> Who needs eyes anyways? Yeah, who needs eyes anyways? I, don't, I, sh I mean, you know, I sure don't need eyes. I could see with my mind's eyes. Oh, why is this? Why, why is my pen changing to the next pen? There we go. Uh, automatic outline layer is so good. So convenient. Even though, you know, I wouldn't do it for like, 
things like the body because it uh, you know things that are soft i wouldn't do it for but things that are like you know chains and stuff it's, it's so easy it's so convenient i love it Wait, what about the full circle? <laughs> Just like the one who, the one who made the uh, that dolphin take LSD, boom, full circle. Wait, did he, did he lose his eyes? I don't really remember seeing much about the researcher besides the fact that he got like taken off the research and like, you know, reprimanded for it from the, from the science world, I think. <laughs> Oh no, you talking about with my mind at all. <laughs> ah yes, just like the guy who made the <laughs> yeah, true. Oh sorry, my eyes are just Oh it's starting to see sparkles. What the fuck? Okay, I'm good. Do you ever get like where your eyes start seeing like sparkly floaty bits <laughs> where you, where you, you, you get like f sparkly floaty bits uh like going around in your eyes yeah yeah all the dang time yeah i get them all the dang time too every single time i'm like fuck which angel is fluttering around um next to me please uh, i need to see I need to see my canvas. Could you could you tone it down a little bit? Hello? Leora! <laughs> Very rarely. Oh nice. I'm like I can't see my canvas properly. Hello. <laughs> Sometimes the parasites in the eyes act up. Yeah. The eye floaters. Yeah, they're eye floaters. I don't think they were like particularly harmful or anything. It's just you know, it just happens. They be they just be doing a little silly. <laughs> they just be acting up a little bit. You need two eyes for that. Well, good thing I have two eyes. Isn't it? such a good thing that i have two eyes then actually no it's a good thing <laughs> i'm like would i not want the floaters maybe i should just have one eye hmm. eyes doko eyes here <laughs> you could actually see my eye here Ta -da. Next time I go get a haircut, I'm gonna ask for them to chop off my bangs so that you can all see both my eyes in full glory. Your eyes very pretty, yes. <laughs> you, you wait, I you mean eyes. Eyes. <laughs> the extreme head tilt is kind of unhinged looking. Yeah, it, it is very unhinged looking, so I don't do it very often. But you can see my eye there. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Figma, please, don't update now. Oh, fuck. Do I have something in my eye? Is that why it's, a, it's acting up? It might be a little fur stuck in my eye. Possible. Possibly. <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep going so that I could finish this in one sitting. I think I can. I'm gonna make this. Yeah. I was like, I think I might make these ones like, like connected to a plate. Or like a little bit like a bigger like, uh, piece. Just to like, kind of simplify the silhouette just a little bit. Mm-mm-mm. And give the eye a little bit of that rest area. Maybe. Does it work? Not sure. <laughs> Nico, yeah, the Nico fucking putting fur in my eye when they're not even in this room. Ah. I feel like it's been making my, uh, like, uh, I think my allergies have just been really bad these days. <laughs> it's my allergies! My throat's been a kind of funky too. Maybe I should get, uh, I should take a throat drop. Oh no, all the, all the throat drops fell from the bag. Oh. Okay, there we go. <sighs> They're working together with Fast Kokone. Oh no, it's past me here, please. Baby here. Okay. Should keep me going until I end the stream. You always have that sweet look with the eyes half closed, so it's cute when they grow bigger if you get surprised or something, though I'm not sure about it when you poke them to get the fur out. <laughs> what? I thought, um, I thought the coconuts were pretty, uh, you know, uh, not, uh, a little scared when my eyes grow big because of the reaction to Mita taking over my body. I, I know a lot of uh, coconuts were pretty pretty uh, traumatized. <laughs> oh no, I'll go to the coconut and stop contaminating you with my sickness. Oh no, get some good rest. Thank you so much for stopping by, but I hope you recover soon. Come on, coconut, come on, coconut, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Only with the coconita, her movements are uncanny. <laughs> We were never the same after. I know. I, I, all of you get like the, got like the curse of needing to post that gif every now and then. <laughs> it's like it's like a curse. You have to use that gif um, at at least once per week. It's, it's been ingrained into your body and soul. <laughs> and Cocosita was more than just the eyes. <laughs> all the movements was wrong. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> Going to bed was a joke. I can't sleep anyways. No, get the get the fuck to bed. Go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> Go the fuck to sleep. What was it? Uh Was it Morgan Freeman that did the go the fuck to uh, go the fuck to sleep? Uh audio like read along thing just play that on loop <laughs> just play that on loop <laughs> damn that was what the <clears throat> oh samuel um oh, samuel L. jackson oh wait oh wrong wrong guy sorry 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 <laughs> Wait, I thought Morgan Friedman did something like that too. Was it? Am I wrong? Was this just Samuel uh, Jackson? Oh, so he did do that. Wait, Morgana? Oh, the voice actor from. Oh. <laughs> uh, Morgan Freeman did fall asleep in the in, in an interview. Does that count? Okay, I guess that counts. <laughs> uh. 
uh, membership sound file. Would you rather have uh, Coconut tells you go the fuck to sleep, or would you have the would you rather the workout um, drill sergeant uh, voice? Voice. Let me know which one you would prefer. Both actually. <laughs> So may I recommend an ASMR recipe reading by a certain gym goddess to help you lull you to sleep? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Go sleep sounds more on brand. Both? Why not both in separate months? Okay, separate months. The whole actual sharp pain from ASMR ain't me. Oh. Wait, it's not you? So you don't get sharp uh, pains from ASMR? Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, I mean, oh no. <laughs> oh no, I get- oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't listen to it. I know it's not, like, for everyone. It's not that as- that, like, it's not for me either. <laughs> so... I totally do not, uh, get offended or anything if someone doesn't want to listen to my ASMR because I'm like, yeah, me neither. It, I, I, I feel you. <laughs> it does nothing to me. If anything, it, it gives me um, bad bad shivers. Um, not the good kind. So I'm like, yeah, I understand. <laughs> but I also understand that there are people who do get uh, good feels and vibes from it. So <laughs> to, to each their own. And I am glad when I'm able to help. With people who want to fall asleep but also it's a it's a bit more of a guesswork for me since i don't really know so <laughs> i don't really get that reaction uh when i listen to things so whenever i do asmr it's a kind of like you know guesswork since i'm not i can't uh put myself in the shoes of those who listen mm -hmm. Is there a bad kind? Like, bad kind of pain? <laughs> Sounds like Zelda needs to- I, don't, I mean, it might just be like, you know... It, yeah, it might just be something that's... Uh, maybe... Could, could potentially be a change, but like, that's like, you know... I feel like that would be invasive, so, uh, invasive and if it's not bothering them in, from the day to day... I w uh, might be better to just leave, leave untouched that type of that type of situation. Why not ask coconut nuts what they would like? Because all they will say is degradation. <laughs> because all you'll say is degradation, <laughs> and don't act like you won't. <laughs> And that's the one I see pop up the most often. Even though there are... It's not to say that everyone. There are people who don't want degradation, obviously. But the vast majority, if asked, degradation will probably win. Just through, um, you know, democracy. Okay, ask us for the second thing we want. <laughs> It, just, it generally doesn't bother me at all. It just hits on ASMR. Yeah, then I, then it's like my, it's probably not worth like you know, uh, getting it checked and stuff. If it's just if it's just very specifically ASMR. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm more of a positive affirmation fellow myself. I mean, if we asked a positive affirmation, would you even do that? I did do that. 
I did the positive affirmation moral read read out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I could do another one. <laughs> Wait, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, I was looking for butterfly. <laughs> I was looking for butterfly rip. Anyways. <laughs> I love that song in DDR. That was like my go-to warm-up warm song. Did you... Uh, uh, for those who played DDR, did you have a warm-up song? I had a... I had like two, three songs that I played very... Like, in order. Whenever I started DDR. Because those were my warm-up songs. And that's how I'll, I'll like... Uh, get into the groove and then do all the harder songs. <laughs> Certified DDR classic. Yeah! Oh my god, Captain Jack! I loved Captain Jack too! Captain Jack was definitely one of the warm up songs. And then, what was that? What else did I do? Oh, it's been, too, it's been so long. Max 300! <laughs> one of the Max 300. I, no, no. Uh, par oh, one of the paranoi par paranoia? Par para I think it was paranoia. I really like to... Clean mix? I think it was called the clean mix. Could be wrong. There were so many. <laughs> yeah, grip captain. Could we have a clue that no affirmation or degradation comment stream? Uh... I have no feelings for you in any direction whatsoever. <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> maybe. I was like, mm, you're okay, I guess. Yeah. You're you're there. <laughs> you're, you 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 exist. Congrats. Vulcan RPA <laughs> Wow, that's a very specific niche, you know. <laughs> With the, uh, I guess that is one way we could title it the coup that it no feeling <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> Imagine just like a random Trekkie coming across like the, wait, well, not Trek, wait, Star Trek, right? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> coming across um, the video and we're like, oh, what? No way! Someone who's like, someone who's RPing a, a Vulcan. <laughs> He's doing ASMR, and it's just a fucking uh, anime girl just not having any emotion there. They'll be so pissed. It's simply logical. <laughs> the three D with Vulcan. <laughs> You know, they they sell like those like elf ears that you could just like hook on like as a silic like there's they're like silicone like little uh, things you could hook on to like this will be your regular ears and it just hooks on there just buy that put it on the 3 D O. <laughs> it's not Vulcan ears but <laughs> close enough. I wonder if they have the Vulcan ear versions. Maybe they might. But I know for a fact that there's elf ear versions. We can maybe uh. Alter it so it looks more Vulcan. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Are they different? Yeah, yeah, they're they're different. Like, uh, mm. they're they're like bigger the Vulcan ears, and they like they curl backwards, right? Let me check. Yeah, yeah, they curl backwards, and they're like bigger, like. Say elf ears are like this, right? Vulcan ears are more like... Like that. <laughs> That's the difference. I mean, maybe some people won't care. Uh, won't care. Uh, maybe people won't mind. But I mind. As a fantasy connoisseur, uh, self-proclaimed, I mind.
And they are very different. Not all pointed ears look the same. But that's probably rich coming from me who can't tell the difference between certain uh certain male celebrities. Um actually my roommate was making fun of me for that the other day and we were watching something on the TV while like we were both eating dinner and one of the ad was a movie <laughs> and there was this guy that was like the main character right and I was like me in my corner I was like oh, I feel like I've seen that face before but I can't quite pinpoint that um pinpoint it and then my my roommate just randomly across the room was like hey kokone which one is that one and I'm like huh <laughs> And she's like, which, which which one is he? Is he? I'm like, what do you mean? And then she's like, which Ryan is he? I was like, oh, they're they're one of the Ryans. <laughs> she's like, you didn't even realize they're one of the Ryans. I was like, no. I was just wondering. I was like, they look kind of they look kind of familiar. <laughs> and then, but then, like, I was like, it's Gosling. As fantasy, the ad um gave me my answer. So she was like, oh my god. Every, now, every single time, I'm just gonna start trolling you and telling you uh, which uh, the wrong Gosling every time they show up on in ads, just to, just to see how when you'll realize. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I if I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't think I will do very well if you do that. <sighs> Could she tell the difference between Ryan Gosling and Ryan Reynolds with Vulcan ears? Oh, don't uh, don't give my roommate any uh, any ideas. Uh. Don't give my roommate any ideas. <laughs> it was probably Gosling. Yes, it was Gosling. Mm -hmm. It was Ryan Gosling. It said in big bold white letters, and I was like, ah, is that one? <laughs> I think my roommate was also offended that, like, I, I thought, uh, that when she found out that I thought, uh, what's his face? Uh, wait, which, which name does he go by? Charlie? Moist Critical? That guy? Penguin? I don't know. Um, and then Asthma and Gold, like, that I thought they were the same person for a while. <laughs> and so, my... My roommate was also very, uh, very like, what the fuck, Kokode? Is your, are your eyes okay? I'm like, I just don't look at their faces. Like, clearly, okay, I'm not interested in their faces. I'm not interested in them. <laughs> oh god, you just... I didn't know it was such a offensive thing, okay? I'm sorry. I just didn't have any, any, you know, interest in either of those parties. So I was just like casually looking scrolling through youtube and thumbnail and i'm like damn this guy this the same guy sure does does appear uh, uh very often <laughs> you're not the only one cooking. see i'm not the only one thank you i'm not the only one so it's fine <laughs> you know now i know now if i was asked i looked at their faces i'm like okay i see what people mean I could tell the difference, but like before, like when I didn't like care to stop to looking at their thumbnails for more than like a split second, they look the same, okay? <laughs> if you only if you only look at the thumbnails, they are similar. See? See? I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy, okay? Now do I admit that I do have a very low interest in guy faces compared to like say female faces? A hundred percent. So that may be um, you know contributing a little bit, but <laughs> but uh, it's not that far fetched, okay? I go crazy. Coconut was crazy once. <laughs> Do you know which one is the one that goes woo? No. <laughs> woo, I mean, um, I'm like trying to think. Let me deduce. I feel like I feel like wait. So he goes by Twi 
channel is Penguin Zero, but called Moist Critical, but he's named Charlie. Okay, I think Charlie would be the one that would be uh, the, the type to go woo more so than the other one. <laughs> From the vibes. <laughs> That would be uh, that would be moist. Woo, baby, that's what I'm waiting for. Okay, she got it. Yes. <laughs> See, once I actually took a took a gander, I could tell. I could tell. Mm -hmm. Charlie from Lily Wonka Chocolate Factory. Oh uh, yes, that's the Charlie. Mm -hmm. Charlie has actual human emotions. <laughs> does 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 uh, does Asmund Gold not? <laughs> I don't think I've I, I don't think I've I've seen any of his videos as of yet. Does he not have human emotions? <laughs> Is he a Vulcan? Is he Vulcan RPing? <laughs> whoa 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 whoa! Let's not slander people that I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> Let's not sla let's not do do slander on people I don't even know. Okay, we 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 don't do that here. <laughs> uh, funnily enough, a character. Interesting. It's not actually it's not actual slander. Oh, like, oh, like actually a character that he's playing up. <gasps> Oh, I didn't know that. Is it a to room tour to show off the cockroach? Uh, uh. uh. No way. He's that committed to the bit? That's crazy. Topics. Let's switch topics. Let's switch, let's let's switch topics. I don't wanna I don't wanna get you know in trouble. I don't wanna get in trouble. We we we'll, we'll switch we'll switch topics. You know, yeah yeah yeah. I think it's safe to switch topics. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's you know we we shouldn't we shouldn't be talking about other other you know internet personalities here. Or... Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. It's it's encroaching on dangerous territories. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, man, those mochi donuts were delicious, man. I miss those mochi donuts. Like Mr. Donuts in Japan, you, you go always go get their pondering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> always get their pondering because it's fucking amazing. It's it's. I think that's the original originator of uh, mochi donuts. I could be wrong, obviously, but the ponderings are so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And why talk about anyone else when the mirror is here? Exactly! Exactly! Why talk about anyone else when the mirror is here? Yeah! Tr so true! So, so true! Bavarian cream? Oh, Bavarian cream is so good too! Oh, I love Bavarian cream! Wait, okay. Very pink Tinkerbell. Yeah, it's quite Tinkerbell. But it's, it's got the Tinkerbell vibes, which I like. <laughs> no, no more talk of celebrities. You can't get me. You can't, you can't expose me with my lack of um, celebrity knowledge and celebrity, you know, uh, recognition skills. No more. <laughs> Wonder the series makes Mr. Donuts look so good. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Because of the vampire girl. She was, like, obsessed with donuts. There's a donut place two blocks from me that does pondering. <gasps> Give me. Give me. I don't know. I, I don't remember, like, the story of Monogatari. But I do remember watching it. And I remember they were all kind of, kind of, kind of fan fantasy creature. 
But that's about it. I'm like, man, I sure don't remember anything about the story. Besides, they're all kind of funky. Um, and the and the girl with the black long black hair, she doesn't have any weight on her. She she's she weighs nothing, I think, is the premise. Which is interesting. So she carries all those stationery under her uh, she carries basically a whole arsenal. Um Senjo Gahara, yes, yes, yes. Senjo Gahara, Gahara, um, I believe. And then one of the girl was like a berserker, berserker or monkey girl. Um. Uh. And then the the Megane girl is a sex fiend. I mean, um, a bakeneko. Um. Then the guy was he also a vampire? No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> What's the guy? <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> I mean, she kind of was, right? <laughs> Everyone didn't actually watch Monogatari, they just listened to the opening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one actually watched the uh, watch Monogatari, they just listened to the opening and went, yeah, what a banger. And then, like, the rest of the 20 minutes, they just, like, put, looped that in their head while they saw pretty pictures. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, here's a half. Vampire. Technically ghoul. Yeah, I was like, was he ghoul-like? More ghoul-like though? And I was like, I don't remember what the technical term was that he was. Uh, so I was like, I feel like he was a ghoul, but I couldn't... But that's that's why I was confused. Yes. It's technically more ghoul-like than a vampire. That song is actually... That song was actually the song that I sent to staff as like a... <laughs> a sample of my singing because that was actually required back in the day. <laughs> of like some level of possible singing ability. And I was just like, man, I sure can't sing. <laughs> Boy, I sure can't sing. <laughs> let me sing one that... Uh, let, me, let me do one that... It's more more talking. <laughs> so that's what I said. That. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. The... Well, I can't really sing. So let me get one that seems relatively more based on. Uh, I could I could get by with maybe just my voice. <laughs> So what are you saying? Is you still have that file somewhere? No, I'm pretty sure I deleted it immediately afterwards. Rola, hello, hello, welcome! Oh my god, this is turning out so beautifully. Thank you, thank you! Mivi did the beautiful job. She did such a great job. <laughs> well, I am just, I am just, you know, uh, realizing her image. <laughs> and making it reality. <laughs> Making it into, uh, I guess, like a like an illustration. She already made it into reality. I'm just, I'm just, you know, doing a little silly. Hee <laughs> hee. She's awake at this hour. <laughs> Garnishing the dish real. <laughs> I was like, Ro is usually active at this hour. What do you mean she's Ro awake? <laughs> Ro has like the closest like sleep schedule to me out of all the VNU girls. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have the closest uh, sleep schedule. Well, schedule in general. Mm-hmm. Out of all the VNU girls, like, cause, yeah, most of the time, the VNU girls, they're very different in terms of schedule. They're usually up at ass hours. 
like all the way into like the 3, 4, 5 a.m. So it's true because we're jobbers. <laughs> Yeah, it's because we're we're in that wage cage grind uh, grind set, you know. We gotta we gotta make our living. <laughs> yeah, a normie sleep schedule basically. <laughs> we Dro and I are the normie sleep schedule havers. Wage cage grind set mindset rah 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 games games games. Oh no, oh no, I've unleashed the beast. I've unleashed the beast. <laughs> Come back, Roa. <laughs> Although, you've been staying up pretty late these days playing uh, Pokemon Unite with the girls. I see you. I see you being a little degen these days. <laughs> you've been kind of degening uh, uh, with the girls uh, playing Pokemon Unite. I've I've seen it. <laughs> Getting called out. <laughs> I mean, I'm not calling you out per se. I'm just saying I've I've witnessed it. <laughs> Unite addict. I do have Unite on my Switch, but I haven't joined in on it because like <laughs> I already have a lot on my plate. <laughs> it's okay, Sunday. I asked you. Uh, if you ask me to stay up too, I will pull an all nighter. <laughs> Oh my god, Roa, please. Get some good sleep. <laughs> Don't me play me like that. <laughs> Roa, you have plenty of people who want to play Reunite with you. It's okay. You already have a harem of girls who want to play Unite with you. I'm I have it installed, but like I haven't touched it in like fucking forever. I only played it once. But none of them are you! <laughs> so what Roa is saying is vote Unite for the staff versus... Um, oh, yeah. The, oh, oh, wait. Actually, actually, that reminds me. I should link it to uh, anyone who hasn't noticed uh, or hasn't seen. VNU has officially uh, made a call. They need you, you know. <laughs> It's like that Uncle Sam propaganda poster. They need you to vote for which game that the talents and staff should have a match, like a rematch with. At first, it was League of Legends. Now, you have the choice. <laughs> now you have the choice. You can alter the fates of the talents <laughs> and staff. And so far... Um, Roa and another, uh, another one of the staff has immediately put in a Pokemon Unite <laughs> as soon as the form dropped it, so. <laughs> yeah, depending on the game, I will, uh, I may or may not be joining, I may or may not be, uh, 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 hosting like I did with the League one, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna wait un and see un uh, for what game get ends up get being chosen, but I'll probably, I'll probably maintain the neutral position and ha let because and let the other girls represent the talent side. <laughs> Competitive fun. How about we sub are gonna submit Hollow Knight speed running? What the fuck? <laughs> Please carry me some. Aren't you pro at Pokemon Unite though? Why, why would you, why would you need me? I'm a noob. I didn't play. <laughs> oh, I see. Is it? It's because you're so much of a gamer. You just no, 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 no. I just think I'm probably the most um qualified to host. <laughs> I already have all the setup um, figured out, so that's what I mean. I'm like, I'm probably e the easiest in terms of uh, hosting that said event because I already have everything figured out and organized and I could um, do it without any stress while I know other girls would probably potentially get stressed about it since it is a lot of like POVs and stuff to manage. <laughs> 
Yeah. Hey man, I didn't say we were playing Pokemon Unite in this chat, did I? Oh. Oh, oh wait. Oh, you want me to carry you physically? <laughs> oh, like, like, actually, Princess carry you. Is that what you wanted? I mean, what other carry is there? <laughs> Who doesn't dream of being Princess Carrie by Coconut? I don't know, a lot of people. <laughs> I would assume. That was smooth. What do you mean? I was just asking a simple question. <laughs> I was just asking a simple question, you know? <laughs> Fireman Carrie. <laughs> Fireman Carrie, the go high. Okay, I'll fireman carry you. <laughs> Where was thoughts on being carried by Oto Coconut though? Wait, I'm trying to remember what her response to Oto Coconut was. <laughs> yeah, 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 row of one, coconut zero. Why are you picking a fight with the coconuts? Hello? <laughs> oh my goodness. Just getting hit by the cross <laughs> fire <laughs> randomly. <laughs> Actually, I just started I started shading, but like I I haven't even, I haven't even figured out what kind of lighting I wanted. Hold on. We'll do hard light, and then uh 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 um. <laughs> hey, Roa has experienced coconut degradation with the real winners here. I don't think Roa would want degradation, though. I feel like every Kohai that I've met, uh, talked to just want praise. <laughs> I'm pretty sure every single Kohai that I've talked to just want praise. See? Roa's confused, everyone. You can't understand the coconut mindset. <laughs> yeah, don't pick a fight with us more. I will cry a lot. <laughs> yep. Yep. They will. They will cry. Don't pick on them too much. They're 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 a little bit of crybabies. I don't know why. Coconut. <laughs> Oh man, but I'm not gonna lie. I do want to play uh, ARAM. <laughs> I've been kind of itching to play ARAM. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I can't explain why, but it is something that I've been itching to do. Unfortunately. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said unfortunately. It is something that I'm I've been kind of craving to do. You can take the girl out of area, but you can't take the Aram out of the girl. <laughs> yeah, too bad Roa can't play Lee, cause then her mom will be sad. Her mother will be sad. Apparently, that's the game that Roa is not allowed to play. <laughs> I'm sorry, Roa. I can't carry you. I, I can only maybe possibly carry an Aram. I could only maybe possibly somewhat carry an ARAM. Mm -hmm. She could only play League Legs. <laughs> What do you mean? League likes like you mean MOBAs? <laughs> Never heard of someone call them League likes. <laughs> Number one rule to not disappoint Roa's mom: don't talk about League. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be tree backgrounds. Although it's gonna be very blurred and like you know. Uh, vague. I'm just doing it in solid so that it's a little easier. 
<laughs> no, no, no. MOBAs are League likes and FPS are Doom clones. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> I prefer Dota likes. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's, it's here. It's the Dota versus League factions. <laughs> Who will win out on top? Hey, MOBA means nothing anyway, so League like makes a lot more sense. What do you mean it means nothing? <laughs> I mean, that's true. There there are like other different types of MOBAs that are very different from League and stuff. So, you know, fair. But oh, <laughs> maybe we should just start calling it League Likes. Oh, Multiplayer Online Battle Arena is, mo is the MOBA uh, acronym. Mm-hmm. I remember when MOBA didn't only mean Dota likes. <laughs> yeah, so technically, you could say, you could say Fortnite is a MOBA. <laughs> technically, you know. <laughs> it is a multi online, um, uh, multiplayer online battle arena, technically. AKA all PvP online games, re yeah. AKA all all PvP online games that that are multi like like you know fairly multiplayer. Coconut may have celebrity rhyme blindness, but she sure as hell doesn't have mobile blindness. <laughs> I'm never gonna get, you know, I'm, not, I'm never gonna live that down, am I? Of. Uh, not uh, not recognizing the different goss um different Ryan's I almost said different Goslings. I was like, what the? Is Valorant a MOBA? So tribes is a MOBA. <laughs> yeah, it's essentially you're in a you're in an arena. There's multiple players and it's online and you're battling it out. Then it's a MOBA. Mm -hmm. But like you know how language um evolves. Uh, you know. Uh, now it means basically league likes or Dota likes. <laughs> those are the more. Uh, those are what the what MOBAs refer to. Um, so <laughs> Valorant is a CS:GO copy. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> so Minecraft is a MOBA. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Can't wait for Apex likes. Wait, it's not like PUBG likes or like, um, oh shoot, what are the other ones? Or like, you know, Fortnite likes. <laughs> wait, no, Fortnite is different. Wait, mm, no, they have trios, right? <laughs> I think we should just take that word back. I play PvE. <laughs> uh, I like, I, I like, I do like PvP. I'm not gonna lie. Like, dep if it's casual, I do like PvP. If it gets too, too, like, you have to grind. And um, it's more gear-based and, like, how much time you invest, then I don't like PvP. I'd rather it be more skill-based, like, just, you know. I mean, yeah, skill, you could definitely um, make better through time. But I don't want it to be, like... Even if they're lower in skill, if they put more, like, if they just grind out for a better gear, they'll, they'll win. I don't like those. Mm -hmm. So you don't like me get PvP? <laughs> don't talk to me about that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I invested so much time. <laughs> hey, can I give you Robux? <laughs> no, I don't play. <laughs> Actually, a lot of the VNU, uh, a lot of the girls are starting to play Roblo uh, Roblox, and I'm like, wait, oh no, it's actually taking over. It's the the, zoo, the kids are here. <laughs> the kids are here. They've 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 arrived. <laughs> Coconut should play Pokemon. Oh, uh, Pokemon! Wait, Pokemon! I don't know why I read that as Pokemon at first. <laughs> Oh no, the Zoomers? Zoomers are adults now, though. What? What's the Gen Alpha? <laughs> yeah, it's Pokemon Tekken. Yeah! I actually got really hyped when I first saw Pokemon. But then, like, I haven't seen anyone really talk about it. Is it? <laughs> Is it? 
Okay. <laughs> Is it good? The super adult, what? <laughs> it's Gen Omega first now. Oh no. <laughs> they kept the game alive for a really long time. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Challenging the staff to cook on a tower. RT, I will fucking win. I will fucking win. Wait, please. Wait, some people put in the cook on the tower uh, RT8. I would win. I'd win. <laughs> I've gone up the cook on a tower multiple times. Multiple times. Just for photo shoots. <laughs> I'd fucking win. <laughs> yeah, then that I'd win. <laughs> it's me. I probably thought you were gonna be neutral. If it's cook on a tower, I will have to assert my dominance. <laughs> I didn't grind out cook on, uh, cook on a tower and memorize how all the little uh, how all the jumps are supposed to be made just to not be able to flaunt it and flex it into staff's <laughs> staff's face. I climb cook on a tower between raid pools weekly. <laughs> It's it's your uh, it's your training um training montage every single time you're in a raid weekly um pools you're just like wow you were just um taking G poses with uh, other cat girls I was I was training my cook on a tower jumps <laughs> and then G posing on top. I can't wait to find out what jump puzzles get added in Dawn Trail. Man, I'm like... <laughs> part of me wants to see it, but uh, and wants to play Dawn Trail. But part of me is also like, I feel like I've exhausted um, my my play of Final Fantasy XIV. Um, so I'm like still a little bit in that little limbo. I uh, ran into things at the top of the tower. I feel like a third party split. Yeah, you you run into a few uh, a, a few saucy saucy stuff at the top of that tower sometimes. Mm -hmm. But what if Coconut loses though? You don't believe me. You don't trust me. You don't trust my jumping ability. Wait, actually, if you watch my jump king, yeah, um, I wouldn't fault you for not trusting my jumping abilities, but. <laughs> Cook on a tower is different, okay? <laughs> Challenge is to have to who can get furthest on it. You got one credit. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I better, uh, I better, um, get back on training that. <laughs> mm, okay, I'm not so sure about that. Maybe we'll do a multiply at first and then... Ooh. I mean, it's also an MMORPG, and speaking of taking up time and resources, yeah, it takes up so much time and resources that I don't think I could possibly go back to it without, um, quitting VTubing. <laughs> without quitting VTubing. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah, I probably won't then. <laughs> Coconut Tower! Like, yes, I could stream myself playing ff14 but i'd have to go through a whole name change and account change and everything just fake being a new player <laughs> and then like i also I, 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 like even though I, I play like i know i'm playing an mmorpg i play it like a single player game so i don't want people recognizing me in mmos i don't want people to be like oh it's kokoda let me give you some stuff no i don't want that so <laughs> I, I I would never I would never want to stream an MMORPG. <laughs> yeah, 14 is a single player game. Mm -hmm. For me specifically. It is very much a, a single player game. So I'm like, don't talk to me, don't look at me, don't perceive me. I don't exist. I'm just having my fun times l reading the story and uh you know making my home and apartment. <laughs> You don't want free stuff? No! <laughs> I want to earn my stuff! 
I want to I want to feel the satisfaction of getting stuff with my hard like with my with my efforts, you know? <laughs> like I know I just complained yeah, about so like uh, having uh, having tomorrow. to put in time and effort, but like when I actually want something, I don't mind putting in the time. <laughs> You mean you don't want virtual fan meetups? That'll be such a such a commotion. That, that'll gain the attention of like other people too, and they'll be like, "What the fuck is happening?" And then I'll be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna eat myself out of here." <laughs> yeah, foam in F home in FF fourteen multiple. <laughs> I say multiple because like, so I had a medium sized home, and then I switched um I switched to a large home with my FC. So I got a large home. A uh, large FC home because I was like the FC co-leader and uh, with my other friend and we had a large uh, shirogane um, house and then for my for our private we had neighboring um, medium houses in Goblet and then we switched um, one of the uh, I think I switched over to uh, lavender beds but she stayed in uh, Goblet but then I switched o switched servers because a huge group of my friends played in a different server, like different world. So I first like I gave up my home and went to there to help them start up their FC and everything. So I was the FC leader there again. And then I got what was it? A medium home for them when they opened up new wards. The I forgot when, but, um, so, <laughs> both times for Shirogane and the, the new ward opening, I woke up at, like, fucking 6 a.m. <laughs> 6 a.m. And, re uh, went into the queue with, uh, went into a VC with our, uh, with our FC. We were all on VC. We were just like, okay, who's, who's in queue right now? And both times, I was the one that got in into the game first. So both times, I was the one who ran and raced all the other people who were, like, trickling in to buy the exact house that we wanted. Kokone should have become a realtor. <laughs> no, I was like, man, this is... I'm never doing this again. It's too much work. Fucking six... Six like uh, five six a.m. waking up the hours. No, <sighs> no more. So yeah, that was that was what I did. Absolute lunacy. Back when you can click the signs. Yeah, back when back before like the auction like the auction thing. Well, not auction thing. Like what was it? What is it? Like ra um not uh like lottery essentially system yeah there's a lottery system now right like raffle raffle system yeah the auction is easy but your chances are way worse yeah like back then um like they they tried multiple different like um ways to make it kind of lottery based so first it was just like okay um the house the time the house gets off of like the cooldown is random anywhere between like this many hours to this many hours and it's like several days worth of different like a few days worth of difference like uh, like two or three days worth of difference so like you really had to like just camp for like three days if you really wanted to secure it um which was bullshit so <laughs> So people would have to take shifts and stuff, and which I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna wait for a new war to open up. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Wait, you wanna take a quick look at your tips? Wait. Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> so then thank you so much for the for the tip based on fantasy enjoy a build. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. And guess who usually saves around now? Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's true. Let me save. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I got too busy talking about FF14. I forgot about my, my bio, bio clock. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> because... Uh... uh. 
Thank you so much for the tips. <laughs> and thank you for the save reminder. I had I have saved. <laughs> gonna sleep. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna rest. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, thank you. Damn, it's already been it's already been three hours. Oh man, I'm I'm taking my sweet ass time, aren't I? <laughs> I mean, I sure am taking my sweet ass time. Although this is a monthly wallpaper, so it's not like I want to rush, rush it. It should take like at least two sittings. Because you know, this is what you paid for, chat. You paid for this. So I don't want to rush it. <laughs> Kukone walked the end after bringing the shadows, so yeah, she was pretty deep. <laughs> uh, surely it's not because we're distracting you, right? I mean, I think I got pretty far, right? I think I got pretty far in the three hours. <laughs> it's not too bad. Yeah, it's looking good already. Really like the lighting. Yay! <clears throat> Wings of hope. <laughs> oh man. I remember when ugh, every single like you know like those um trains for like hunt hunt trains. <laughs> People would make up like lyrics of like the songs and then like really uh, like make it relate to the the whole um, monster that's like Paspan and then Lucky for like just that area, you know, of course. <laughs> Man, people are wildin. Oh, I remember one one time one of my friends showed me <laughs> she showed me like oh um a hunt train macro where they basically uh where the person who was like conducting it basically RP'd as the two monsters and it was getting like really saucy and like it was a whole like um, three-way situation of like some one one monster cheating on the other and I was just like what in the world am I reading? Oh. <laughs> and it's like oh yeah stomp on me with your big heavy hooves and I was just like oh <laughs> I was like, whoa, they got a little, they had a lot of fun with that one, didn't they? <laughs> um, and then it was just like, <laughs> actually keep going there now. <laughs> Wood. Oh, man. <laughs> the star train, hunt trains just build shapes out of our mounds, like dicks. <laughs> like peepees, peepee shapes. <laughs> I remember like they would make um a lot of the hunts they would like uh, everyone would just like ride on like the behemoth mount because it's like the most obnoxious mount there was right until until the whale came out but um <laughs> yeah then the whale came out of course <laughs> of course the whale of course it's a whale everyone after the whale came out they're like hell yeah this is now my most obnoxious ride <laughs> This is now my way to flaunt my wealth in the most obnoxious way possible. The whale mount. <laughs> Literal whales. Being able to flaunt. <laughs> I mean, it was really it was a really nice mount though, not gonna lie. Did, did I have it? No. <laughs> I had uh Oh yeah, the mist whisper of go go. Oh my god, I love the whisper whisper of go go. I I had that so uh that was one of my go-tos. I actually just like roulette uh all of my flying mounts. 
uh, as like a shortcut so that I didn't have to choose because I, I really liked all the mounts that I had. <laughs> okay then, watch it then, it's coming back. Yeah, of course it's coming back. It always comes back. <laughs> You can always rely on the Yokai Watch event to come back. Man, I wanted to get Eden's ultimate, but my lifestyle ain't available for it anymore. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, I was like, raids are too much of a commitment for me. <laughs> I have a few friends who do play, do, do raids and stuff, and they're like, Oh, Coconut, do you want to join us? And like, I tried for a few times. But man, I was just like, oh, I have to do homework. <laughs> I have to do homework and um, on the, like the raids uh, and then go like join up for like the schedule raiding and then make sure my my uh, gear is like the, the, the correct eye level and like have the correct materia. And I'm just like, <laughs> I can't do raids. Raid is not my lifestyle. <laughs> and it sucks because, like, you know, um, uh, Omen was one of the uh, ones who, like, uh, raided, as well as Leora's, like, roommate. So I, I used to play um, play with them quite often and do raids there, but uh, it was just, like, it was just too much. It was too much commitment. Uh, good night, Icer. Thank you so much for stopping by. Got some good rest. Uh, I hope your headache gets, goes away soon, though. Uh, I'm a fisherman, so oh, oh, fisherman. That's a choice. <laughs> Fisher, fishing man is a choice. My friend, one of my friend. I'll call them. I'll call them. Uh, wait. Uh. Aura, since they're very much an aura. Um, <laughs> uh, they were doing, they were getting all of the achievements for fishing, and it literally took like a year <laughs> of like continuously being like on their off time just fishing, and then <laughs> someday I'll catch the Cinder Surprise. <laughs> Yeah, an, uh, an aura. Yeah. <laughs> that's their that's their race of choice. Yeah, the, the YouTubers struggle to come up with people in the uh, for names of the people in their lives. Yeah. Always a uh, uh, what's a good nickname for them? <laughs> what's a good nickname for them? There is no good nickname for them. Fuck. <laughs> Just give them all letters, but then I'll forget. <laughs> I'll forget. I need to think of like, uh, I need to come up with like names that are easy for me to remember, you know? Because my memory with names, it ain't that good. As you probably have witnessed already. I don't really remember names already. Like, I already remember their real names. So, um, having another, like, <laughs> having just a random num n letter. It's not gonna work. Time for post-it notes. <laughs> uh, it's like it's already a miracle that I don't fuck up names generally. <laughs> I don't fuck up names on stream with like people I do know uh, from beforehand. <laughs> yeah, but you know I have I have I have. I have DM, uh, like GMing to thank for that, actually. <laughs> I think because I'm like the forever GM, I got used to like pe calling people by like the names of their characters and um, being able to switch into that mindset, you know? So it was pretty easy, even though I never VTubed before, like, you know, like, or streamed before um, Kokone, uh, where I had to like call people by weird, well, random nicknames. <laughs> It honestly wasn't that hard of a transition. I was like, oh, I'll just pretend I'm like, you know, GMing and that's their character. Yeah. Hmm. 
I know five people. I know five people with the same name. They have been put into a file system now, so it should be doable. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's not. It's doable, but do I want to do it? That's that's the issue, you know. <clears throat> Any of your friends complain about their characters looking wrong in the new benchmark? Oh, I don't think so. I should check though. I don't think they've mentioned it so far. Uh, I would definitely check. I know people started doing the benchmark and they're like, I'm ready, guys! <laughs> With like their amazingly cracked PCs that they bought specifically for Final Fantasy XIV and like the do the, um, <laughs> the benchmark. <laughs> Where I know people like just bought a, a straight up bought like amazing ass um, PCs just for, just for Final Fantasy XIV. I got a high score, I'll live for now. <laughs> yeah, so you don't need like the ultimate highest score, you know. It's that's it's fine. You'll you'll live. <laughs> you'll live with like no, you know, just a high score. Yeah, yeah, who would do that? <laughs> oh oh oh. <laughs> DMing for people that you don't know helps with that a lot. Yeah, like DMing for like, um, just like just people in general. Like DMing for people you do know helps helps a lot too. Of like being able to like, um, you know, you know their real name and it's it's been ingrained into you. But then, uh, being able to switch between like a different name for them, I think that really helped me. Only hit nine k score with shadows turned down. Let, let me see, let me double check what one of my friends they posted their uh rating <laughs> i'm just gonna double check i'll let i'll tell you the number <laughs> let's see ah they got 22k <laughs> jesus <laughs> extremely high <laughs> there's a secret april fool's joke in the benchmark too wait really <gasps> <laughs> don't don't worry they 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 live and breathe out of 14. <laughs> the npc is near 9 and 10 years old okay i don't need to don't need to wait for for it being 10 years old and still getting 9k that's really good <laughs> that's amazing You should be proud, on the contrary. <laughs> Man, I don't even want to know what my PC would get. And it's not even that old. <laughs> and it's not even that old. I don't I don't want to know what my PC would get because the GPU has been a little fucky. <laughs> Actually, it might be okay now that like I reinstalled it and everything, but... I don't know. <laughs> The, the dual streaming has told me otherwise. I was actually originally thinking of uh, doing this, doing this drawing in the short stream. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not like the full wallpaper uh ratio anymore and then i was like oh and then there'll be more noise on the image itself so people will have to join membership to in order to appreciate the image too <laughs> yeah i haven't done the short stream in a while um i'm kind of lazy to like go through all the cha uh, layout change and stuff so. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It, it, my PC um, doesn't explode if it if I'm just doing a short stream, but if I do both, then it explodes. I don't know why. Like my PC should be more than good enough to handle it, um, but I guess it just doesn't like it. <laughs> I guess it just doesn't like it, you know. <laughs> business mind. <cook. laughs> yeah, I could be business minded if I put my put my mind to it, you know. I just don't like to do it. 
I just don't like to be. But if if I if I put my mind to it, I could be business minded. If you know, <laughs> gotta think of how to advertise membership. Yeah. <laughs> Just get a NASA PC, a quantum computer just to play FF14. Let me go do that right now. <laughs> it's a clever way to advertise the memberships, however, isn't everyone here already a member? True. <laughs> true but but when we get raided and stuff then it's a pretty good way to like segue into it right <laughs> then it's a pretty uh streamlined way of segueing into hey look what i have as a thing <laughs> a benefit to being a member you know <laughs> Ooh la la, look at that! <laughs> I like to give the members after a raid to snipe Grace. I've noticed! Thank you, thank you! I've definitely noticed! <laughs> so thank you so much! Uh, there are people who'd buy the i9s and uh, 4090s and all they play are the most basic games. <laughs> yeah, I would see, I would see, like, you know, kids that only play minecraft well actually no I, I shouldn't say minecraft because minecraft can get very very intense if you depending on what how you play with minecraft so maybe maybe minecraft isn't like the best uh example but <laughs> but yeah sometimes i'm like oh what a waste <laughs> what a waste of bz mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Have you ever heard of the critically acclaimed membership cook on the Unicango with the expanded free wallpaper? You can view the entirety. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, and I need I need that uh, Final Fantasy spiel for myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hello, hello. How goes the draw? The draw goes like this. <laughs> the draw is going like this. I think it's going pretty well. I want to change this hue to be a little. Oops. Looks a bit more like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, out here with a 4090 playing GPA games. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, you do you, 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 you do you do you you do you. <laughs> Looks like you're almost done. No, I'm still. I, I, it's still. It's still gonna be a while. You'll see. Once you see it actually done, you will see where I put in the effort. Maybe, hopefully, possibly. <laughs> I hope. Maybe. Well, I'm not so sure anymore. Wait, what? What's what's going on here? Oh, uh, is it this? Yeah. I'll remove this one. You know, never know until uh, it's finally com it's fully complete. But hopefully, it'll it'll make sense. Artists are never done yet. <laughs> Can't wait for the full post later. Thank you, thank you. I'll probably take like another day, another sitting, just to finish it so that it looks, you know, very much done. But I don't think it should be. It should. I don't think I'll take. You know. I'll be sliding it in right before the month ends, like the previous ones. <laughs> this time, I learned my lesson and started a little earlier than before. Mm -hmm. <gasps> ah, Yuki and Yuna! Hello, hello! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> hi, hi! Welcome, um, uh, welcome, guilties! Do you call them... Wait. Actually, I just realized. Do you call them guild guildmates? 
<laughs> Guilties. Yay! Guilt for hit the arts looking so good. Thank you, thank you. I hope you had a fun stream. What did you stream today? Yuki and Yuna. <laughs> wait, why, why can't I see? Hello? Hello, please. Oh, wait, were you actually playing Final Fantasy XIV? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we're playing Final Fantasy XIV because we were just talking for the past like hour or two about Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> Speak of the devil, the irony. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, where, where are you? Where are you in um, Final Fantasy XIV? We're just sprouts. Cute. Oh my god. They're little baby sprouts. What were the babies? <laughs> yeah, because he had never played Final Fantasy XIV until he started streaming it, right? <laughs> hey, yo, Sprouts, get them with kindness. Yeah, that's how we do it on FF14. <laughs> They're baboos. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Final Fantasy XIV was an amazing game. Yes, we're ba- we're ba- Baboos! <laughs> we like it so far? Nice. Wait, are you still so in, cute. um, A Realm Reborn? Uh, the first, uh, the first part. Or have you gone to, like, the other expansions already? <laughs> Starfire, thank you so much for the super! Bless my house, gotcha! There's a large Jinshiro- <gasps> Oh, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. I hope you get it, I hope you get it. Wait, housing gotcha real? Housing gotcha real? <laughs> when do you find out? <laughs> I hope you, I hope you win it. Get that house, uh, get that large. Shirogane house is super pretty, so. Still in uh, Realm of Warrior, yeah, too much about playing. Nice, nice, nice. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, It's a, it's a lo long, slow, steady, uh, slow-paced MMORPG, so you should just enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Just enjoy the ride. Like I was lucky enough to play the Realm uh, a Realm Reborn and like the like I think like the first uh two expansions basically at my own pace, like mostly solo. So I actually really enjoyed that because I got to read everything and like take my time appreciating all the cutscenes and stuff, so Definitely take your time with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're th uh, Thermaturg and Warrior? Nice. Warriors are so good. <laughs> and Thermaturg, big damage. Big damn. Let's go. <laughs> but uh, I remember being a warrior for a bit. But I was I was mostly uh, Dragoon and Samurai. I was always DPS. <laughs> My my main um class was always DPS. You know, big 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 number go up, yeah, and then die, and I and I just go. I did my job, and everyone's just like, "No, you didn't. Get back up." <laughs> or at least that's what I like to joke. But I I don't die a, a lot. I, um, I I kind of fail at my floor tanking uh job. You know, I'm supposed to be a floor tank as a dragoon, but unfortunately. I'm usually the last one standing somehow, and then I just get chased around and, un and unable to do anything because I'm just a I'm just a simple DPS, and I'm just like, why is everyone dead? Why am I all alone? And they're like, you can do it, Kokane, good job, good luck. <laughs> ah, they pull you back into things. <laughs> you cannot die. Oh, let me die. Let me be. Let me just be a DPS, just a floor texture, please. I just want to. <laughs> Well, if you had just done more damage. <laughs> uh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do tanking and support because apparently I like extra work. Yeah, I don't like extra work. So I'm like, you take care of yourselves. And you also take care of me. <laughs> you you take care of me. And and take care of yourself. I'll, I'll, I'll slap this monster's butt, you know? <laughs> And um, just in case, you know, it's taken out of context, 
That, that's my job. That's literally my job as a dragoon. I have to go behind the monster or the side and slap at it, okay? Or I guess poke at it, but it's from the back or the side, depending. <laughs> I see you've seen the crap. I'm trying to get food, but I hope you have a good rest of the stream. Thank you so much, and get some good food. Thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> but yes, I have seen the crap guides. Of course I have. <laughs> but I was already doing the clapping, um, the slapping pre, um, uh, way before, okay? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna give them the credit for the butt slapping. I was already doing it from the get-go and mentioning it to my friends. <laughs> You think my brain wouldn't go there? Think again. My brain automatically went there. God, it's a bus that's not. I would always ta uh, uh, I will always play tanks, always and forever. I like having negative cues times in games. Yeah, the queue times as a DPS, fucking brutal. But also, the reason why I played uh, I, I played DPS and never had to change was because all of my friends, like, we actually had the issue where we didn't have DPSs in the group, except me. Because everyone, for some reason, was either a healer or a tank. And I'm like, am I the weird one? Oh. <laughs> Am I the weird one? <laughs> What's going on? Silly groups, yeah. <laughs> they're like, wait, who can be who can be the last DPS? And they're like, and everyone's like, wait, I have a tank. No, I have I have I have a tank and a healer, but I don't have a DPS class leveled. Oh, I have just tanks of uh, class levels. Oh, I only have si I'm like, who why the fuck do you not have a single DPS amongst you? <laughs> <laughs> I still hold out with hope that we'll get a Berserker DPS. <gasps> oh, I would love that if I ever went back. <laughs> I would love that if I ever went back. Man, don't tempt me. Like, so um, Sonic also plays, and like, he's more, way more casual with like FF14 than I am. But he was, even he was like, <gasps> Coconut, are you going back to FF14? I'm like, no. It's like, but I'm back! And I'm like, so? <laughs> I was like, so? I'm not going back. I'm too busy. <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure Omen will go back to playing along with uh, Lyra's roommate. So they might start asking. And I'll be like, oh no. <laughs> if, if they ask, I'll be I'll get tempted. Not Sonic though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll I'll probably still say no, but I'm like, <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start getting that FOMO. <laughs> you find a way to make time. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, coconut going to abandon coconuts for raid, yeah. For my friend, for my friends. Uh, maybe I should be nicer to him, you know? I, 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 maybe I should be nicer to his uh, friend formerly known as Sonic. <laughs> but like, anytime I talk about him, it's always uh, on stream. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should be nicer. <laughs> It's inevitable, inevitable. At least with FF14, everything sticks around. That's true. Everything does stick around. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, wait. No, oh, it makes sense. <laughs> I got confused by my own drawing for a split second. I was like, wait. Here we go. Abandonment play? No. <laughs> uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I will not be playing FF14. I 
Because if I do, I definitely cannot stream <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> I will be playing with my uh, IRL friends, you know. <laughs> and the, it'll dox them immediately and everything. So, I, yeah, it just, it, it just can't happen while I'm still... I'm still streaming. <laughs> mm -hmm. Regular abandons your raid group ASMR when? No. <laughs> it's the fan formerly known as Sana. You're finally watching the movies now that Keanu Reeves is going to be in them. Oh my god. I, I <laughs> literally, as soon as I saw that Shadow is going to be uh, voiced by Keanu Reeves, I sent that shit immediately to Leora. And also, like, Sonic linked it to me, too. And we were all like, oh my god, Leora's finally... <laughs> Leora's gonna be so happy. And then Leora, in, like, another group, like, server, she was just like, the amount of people that fucking linked this to me. <laughs> yeah, we all knew who to send it to first. Yep, yep, it was Leora. It's Leora. <laughs> Everyone sent it to Leora. <laughs> so funny but maybe i will i will ask the friend formerly known as sonic if if they are cure if they will redeem themselves mm -hmm. and i will tell tell them that the coconuts are still waiting for you to redeem yourself <laughs> and become sonic once more <laughs> oh yeah i got sent to this talkery channels like three times <laughs> i could imagine that's good. That's good. You're all doing. You're all doing your due diligence. You know. That's that's the right way to be a true palkiri. Tell him we look up to him and awaiting his redemption. <laughs> wow. <laughs> look up to him. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. I will let him know. Mm hmm. Clock sticky. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the character um, it's like the it's like the character growth um you know character growth arc <laughs> that everyone's waiting for. It's like you can do it. You I believe in you. You can become the Sonic fan once more. <laughs> Everyone's cheering for you. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> uh, Mr. M Creeper, thank you so much for the super. I want to die fighting a dinosaur. That is incredibly random, but I believe in you. You follow your dreams. <laughs> mm -hmm. Greatest character arc, please. <laughs> I'm like I'm like wondering like out of my other friends is there anyone else who would n have this type of like, character development arc and I'm like no there isn't any is there <laughs> Aww. <laughs> random aren't we all wait <laughs> so does that mean they want to fight a bird well not every dinosaur was a bird but you could go fight a bird if you want like a little taste you know you could go fi fight a bird if you want a little taste of what it's like to fight a di dinosaur they will probably fuck you up <laughs> so what you're saying is a fam friend formerly known as sonic is the main character in all your lives no don't say that don't say that <laughs> I although maybe oh shit is he? Am I the side character? <laughs> Wait, aren't I supposed to be the main character in this in this channel at least? Uh, aren't I supposed to be at, at least be the main character of this channel? Hello? <laughs> Excuse me. That's not what I signed up for. Get the fuck out of here, Sonic. <laughs> no? <laughs> that, that's, oh, no. Oh, no. I was... You know... that. You know, I should have... Yeah, I should have caught on to that. I I do apologize. You all have made it abundantly clear I am a side character, you know? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Not even on my fucking channel! Okay, I'm 
can't win. I can't win. That's some bullshit. <laughs> oh. There are no main characters here. <laughs> Mimi is a prota prota uh, protagonist. It's a <laughs> work harder. You might get a character development episode. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jeez. Wait, so all Sonic has to do is watch a Sonic movie? And then what about me? I have to work harder? Isn't I don't just get like an easy way out of like watching a random movie and getting that character development arc? What the fuck is this? Hello? To be fair, you're the you're like the MC's best friend that I want to root for. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I'm okay with that. I, honestly, I'm, I am okay with that. You know, like I'm just uh, I'm just there chilling, vibing, not being, um, not getting, you know, involved in any of like the romance. Just being like, yeah, main character, you got this. And then everyone's like, but what about your happiness? And it's like, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. And they're like, no, you know, that type of character. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Honestly, I'm, I'm I could vibe. But what would you watch? Well, okay. Wasn't my G Gundam? What about my G Gundam watch along? You know, that's such a beautiful arc. <laughs> uh, alright, then what's a famous movie franchise you haven't seen that you should have? Oh, there's so many. There's actually so many. <laughs> no, those are my favorite characters in anime, that, but that's why I'm here. <laughs> Is that why you're here? I'm the, I'm the side character, but that's, that's the appeal. G Gundam doesn't count because you were watching it too. What the fuck? Either that or John Wick to stick to. Okay, I did watch th uh, John Wick up to three, and then three pissed me off. So then I stopped. I, I haven't watched four. There's four, right? I think. <laughs> I think. I think you could. Like, you know, gauge why three did it did not do it for me to like, you know. Is it four? Yes, what happened with three? <laughs> I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> it was <laughs> it was nah. Nah. I was like, it is torture to my ears. Like <laughs> Ah, uh, I was like, why? Why? Can we not? It's it's such a recent movie. I expected it better than this. Uh, why? It's I don't I forgot when it was released, but like we shouldn't even have this problem in whenever it was made. But there is there is a very glaring mistake. <laughs> was it the dog? Was it the glass? Was the ring? <laughs> No, wait, I think it was three, right? Was it was the third one. It's, it's actually where they basically got a person who couldn't fucking speak Japanese at all to be the Japanese person. And they basically like made a whole ass like very, 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 very stereotypical like bad Japanese accent just to make themselves seem more Japanese. And like the Japanese was so fucking bad. I was just like, why are you making me listen to this? It was so... So intolerably bad. I was like, the English is bad, the Japanese is bad. What language can you speak? <laughs> yeah. I was just like, oh, <laughs> just get a Japanese actor. <laughs> like, or just don't speak Japanese. Like, it's, it was so unnecessarily bad. Ah. <laughs> oh. You mentioned Japanese so many times, it must be good. <laughs> like, I'm not saying the act, like, yeah, like the actor, uh, you know, they're probably, they, they, they must be like a good actor in wherever they are, but like, it's a casting mistake, essentially, where they should have just gotten a fucking person that could speak Japanese if they were going to be speaking Japanese and pretending to not be able to speak English. You know, like, like there's, you just should have picked someone else. 
It's nothing against the actor. It's all about the people who made the decision to cast that person as that character. <laughs> Yeah, like, nothing against the actor, right? Just, why was he chosen for that role? There's, it makes literally no sense. <laughs> I guess he needed a guy who could act and fight, and there's not that many of them. Also, after Iron Chef, he's been somewhat of a meme anyway, so if it, everything... <sighs> But I was like, I was watching it, on, like I didn't pay money for it, I was watching it on the plane, so at least I was just like... Oh, I, I, I like, I like, I watched it all the way to the end though, right? Because I was like, I mean, it's John Wick. There's, it's, it's, there has to be like really good choreographed fights and stuff, and like, maybe this guy won't pop, pop out any more than like afterwards. And no, he was like the whole last final fight, and I was just like, Ugh. <laughs> I was hoping that he would just appear in like the very like you know beginning and like that was it and like he maybe just like a few in instances like not the main fucking fight where he's just like the whole talking the whole time too and I'm just like please shut up shut up shut up shut up shut up <laughs> uh, uh, yeah that that was why I, I dropped I dropped John Wick uh, John Wick I was like nah. Love Keanu Reeves, but I ain't supporting the people who supported this. <laughs> I ain't supporting the people who supported this decision. Although a lot of people are telling me to watch like Shogun because it has so like it has a folk Jap like it has a lot of Japanese cast, and they're like, oh, I want to know like how how good it is for like a Japanese person. <laughs> Like, person who knows Japanese, and I'm like, oh, maybe, but I don't, I also don't have Disney Plus. <laughs> I think it's on Disney Plus or something. I'm like, I don't have that streaming platform. <laughs> or, like, you know, I don't have an account with it, so I was like, uh, I'll see. <laughs> if it ever pops up uh, in, in another, you know, become available some in some other platform, maybe. But I don't, I don't have Plus. Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah, there's way too many streaming services. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm I don't I've stopped I stopped Netflix. I've uh I just have Crunchyroll at this stage and I'm like ah. Ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. The dress is looking great, thank you! The books are great, Shogun is uh, uh Saipan and Noble House. Oh, is it like a uh three book trilogy? I didn't know it was based off of a of a book series. By the way, when do coconuts get drawn in this dress? <laughs> do you you want to be you want to wear this dress? <laughs> I mean, I could I could arrange for that, yeah, but not today. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I could I could arrange for that, but not today, okay. The coconuts are idols after all. Yes, please. Heck yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I will, I will. Wait, what the fuck is key? What, the, what is this? I could arrange for that. Mm -hmm. What? You mean I can't pull it off the dress? I sure can. No, I didn't say you can't pull it off. I just didn't know you wanted to be in this dress. If I had, if uh, if you would have just told me, uh, I would have been like, okay, yeah, of course, you know. <laughs> I just didn't know until you were like, so when do we get drawn in it? I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm all for coconuts to wear whatever they want that makes them feel beautiful and uh, happy, okay? So I will, do, I will draw you in this dress. Trust. I mean, have you seen how cute you made it? <laughs> <laughs> Bonus points if you make us over like make it oversized like we're wearing mama's coconut clothing. Wait, what? That's way too over oversized though. <gasps> Amaya! Welcome raiders! Welcome Amaya! Thank you so much for joining and raiding! Hello! Wait, 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 wait. 
it's, it's your first time here. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me match you. There we go. Yeah! Hello, my love! Hello, my love! <laughs> we are the rats? Wait, is your fan base called the rats? <laughs> I, I just realized I don't know what your fan base is called right now. <laughs> we are the rats! Welcome, rats! <laughs> Hello, hello, come back, coconut. They're, they're poison tasters, but the mascot is a rat. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. We'll call you rats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> they want to be called rats, so we'll call them rats. <laughs> Whoa, rat pack upon ye! Damn. So come on, Coconut. I hope you had a great stream. I am Yuriko Coconut, for those who don't know. And I am VN News for, uh, from VN News First Wave Zone 4. And I'm a dream goddess. Um, I do a lot of drawing streams, as you can tell here. As well as uh, game streams. And I do do tabletop RPG. Although it's a little bit on a hiatus right now. I will get back up, uh, get back onto that. <laughs> I really love the vibe of this wallpaper. You look like a nature goddess. Ah, thank you, thank you. Thank you. The dress originally was designed by my Kohai. She drew this for me as like a... Wait, let me... Wait. Oh. What's, what's my... Oops. <laughs> I can't remember my shortcuts suddenly. <laughs> suddenly, I don't remember what my shortcuts are. Uh, wait, this one. Okay. There we go. <laughs> You know when you have every all your shortcuts in muscle memory, but then when you have to logic like think about it manually, you're like, wait, I don't remember. <laughs> but yes, my Kohai Mivi Ivory drew me a idol dress based off of the uh, the element Earth, and I really liked this, so I wanted to draw myself in it. So I got her permission to make it a monthly wallpaper drawing, and I'm drawing it out here. <laughs> I'm going to be putting Mimir, Mimir here, um, and like some butterflies, like here, and here, so... The, it's not the full drawing yet, but... <laughs> Coconut put so much work into our tabletop for this is worth it for, uh, for Guy. Uh, I listen to Coconut's streams online in general, so support her. Wow, Amaya! I love you! I miss you! Let's talk more! And... We'll get back to you on that thing. That we talked about. I will schedule it. <laughs> I will schedule it. I will get on that. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Yeah, I really love it. So I'm, I'm hoping, hopefully, doing it justice. <laughs> Don't worry, take your time, babe. We're both so busy. Yeah, a little bit, tiny bit. But I want to get back onto it. You know, I feel like I've been kind of dropping the ball on that one. So I will get. I'll get to, uh, get to it. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I can't believe Coconut is popular enough to get rated by her listeners. Oh man, everyone, please. If you like a, like, oh wait, to all my, um, to all of my coconuts who want to get degraded. <laughs> and the ASMR lovers, please do check out, um, Amaya. <laughs> Uh, you know, channel uh, for sure. I knew you were going with <laughs> I had to, you know. They always keep asking for degradation. I was like, I have to deliver, right? With <laughs> And you have to cook on the note. Oh heck yeah, degradation police see ya. See, say no more. Yeah, go check out Amaya. Get your degradation fill uh, over there, okay? <laughs> say less. Oh my god. See? Easiest sell. Easiest sell. <laughs> she does have a very, very smooth, uh, velvety voice. Uh, so please do check her out. Mm hmm. But the donut on the degradation. We don't talk about that one, okay? We we don't talk about that one. <laughs> we we don't talk about that degradation stream. Nah, nah. It's as if it never never happened, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's as if it never happened. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm so excited for that thing. I I need to. I, 
yeah i just need to plan it get get times and then i could announce it <laughs> but we still have proofs uh i don't know what you're talking about what proofs hmm. <laughs> it's so interesting the way you use brushes is it <laughs> is it i just do things i don't know just brain dead now <laughs> It's like half of it is like muscle muscle memory now. Mm -hmm. Take your time, I mean no worse whatsoever. But I am because I want to do the thing. I want to have the fun times. I want to do that content with you. <laughs> so I am. But like, you know, the 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 me that has to schedule it, that 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 one's not. <laughs> The future me that has to like figure figure out the logistics of it and everything. Yeah, that one's that one's uh you know slacking. <laughs> I'm trying to learn to draw and I see brushes and shapes that you're using and I'm always like, oh, where would I use this? Ah wait, do you want my brushes? I could give you my brushes. <laughs> I could I could give you my brushes. Um if you if you use clip studio paint. <laughs> bye bye! You're learning how to draw. That's so exciting. Let's go, more artist. Let's go. I do. <gasps> okay, okay. I will give you my brushes. I don't know. Well, I don't know if they're uh easy to use per se, but they are made for me. <laughs> I made them specifically for like my wants and needs, so they might not be particularly useful, but. If you if you uh if you want like to try try out and test out stuff, I'll definitely send it to you. Mm -hmm. Cause like you know brushes are very are very much a personal thing. Like some people, they use like just the hard solid hard round uh, brush and just the default type of brushes. And I use those too. Um, but like when it comes to like actually shading, there is a very specific feel that I want to go for. So for that, I usually make a. Make a specific brush. Also, like, it, it makes drawing fun for me. Like, when I use different brushes. <laughs> it's less about the end result, more about the... 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 Journey. <laughs> when it comes to, like, brushes for me. Like, the end result, honestly, is not gonna change that much drastically. Because it's still me that's drawing it. But... Some brushes are more fun to draw with than others. <laughs> I feel, uh, I've noticed I like the oil paint brushes kind of. I feel like a, um, drawing is one of those things where you think you've learned so much, then you realize there's so much to learn. Yeah, I think it's like a lot of things in life in general where the more you learn, the more you realize um, how much you don't know. So it's it's nice though being in, being on that learning journey <laughs> and how it never really ends, but like not in like a bad way where it's like. Oh god, it never ends. It's like, oh, there's still always so much more to learn. Yeah. Mm -mm. The noise one looks pretty on the texture. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I have like this... I think it's a default brush. Um, in the later uh, clip studio where it's like a no um, airbrush noise. And it's a, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's a default brush. And so it kind of gives that like just dithered, dithered airbrush look. Wait, let me do it on like a... Yeah, it's like a dithered airbrush. Wait, that's not a good... Maybe I'll do it with this color. Yeah. And I really like it for like... When I do like lasso and like there's other... Like a clear edge to it. I like how it makes a very soft but like... Kind of chalky uh, texture to it. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, on top, so I do that as like a general gradient on top so that there's a little bit of like a noise texture to go on top of. And then I use my brush that I made that's like this. The texture is a, it's like, it's like slight noise. It's not too much. It's not as much as like the, the one that's the airbrush. And then depending on how quickly I uh, move the brush, there's a... It lowers the opacity. <laughs> it lowers the opacity. So it's a little bit of a tricky brush to use if you're not used to it. Um, 
but uh, it's it's a brush that I like to use for like sketch from sketching to uh, rendering. So, mm -mm -mm. basically, it's like a mar marker. You know how like when you use a, use a marker really quickly, it like streaks and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of what it's em emulating. Yeah, I never thought of using it like that. That's cool. Yeah, very cool. Yay! I think I've uploaded a few of my brushes on um the community tab before. Um, but this brush is one of the newer brushes because I got bored of my other brushes. <laughs> I know it's bad to say, but like I get bored of brushes so that I keep making new ones and then like go back to like brushes that I like and then like but then I keep getting I get bored of that too. So uh and then I go back and forth, back and forth and back and forth. So um yeah, when people ask me what brush I like to use, I'm like, it depends on the moment. Unfortunately, that is my most accurate answer. But here, these are the type of brushes I, I like to use. <laughs> yeah, like this brush has stayed with me through thick and thin. This this brush, wait, let me show you. This is the brush I always go back to ran like randomly, so I never delete it. But it's essentially... A, a normal round brush where um i changed the pressure sensitivity like the pressure angle to be based on velocity and like the brush size to be velocity and pen pressure but i had a little tiny bit of randomness to it so it kind of makes that little like jittered jittery like felt pen look to it yeah and then the opacity is also pressure based, but the curve is like this. So I don't have to put in too much pressure when um in order to get that like dark, fully saturated, um op wait, fully op opaque of a stroke. And then I think that's like the only thing that's um specific about it. I think that's and then I think I put the density of the brush to velo uh, velocity based so it also kind of determines by like the um the density of the brush is determined by the speed but the opacity is not yeah <laughs> so many words are being said <laughs> yeah but it, it's my ride or die brush exactly and this one is also my late my recently my ride or die brush so yeah <laughs> and then um these days, I've been sketching with this brush a lot, or like this brush. This one's a little softer, but this one's pretty sharp. Or like this one, the edges are very sharp, so if I want a sharper look, I'll use this. But if I'm like not as certain as to what I want to draw, uh, I'll use like a softer brush because then there's a little bit of that vagueness to it so that I could kind of get away with bullshitting a little bit. <laughs> Oh wait, it's the Mayo Minecraft Raid! Welcome, Sion! Welcome, me. Welcome, uh, Informants and Ra- uh, Wait, I almost said Riders, that's uh, Mismos because Maeve's uh, cat is Rider. But uh, I, I meant Maidens! Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> welcome, welcome! How was- <laughs> Bullshitting. <laughs> Did you just come into me saying bullshitting? I apologize. Uh, how is your Minecraft being locked in a vault? Uh, I see you and me f um, playing around with all these like mods that it, I'm like, oh man, they look so fun. I want to play. <laughs> I feel like we I haven't touched Minecraft in so long though. Has any of the other VNU girls touched Minecraft? <laughs> I feel like we've been so busy that we haven't really done any minecrafting as a, as a, in our in our server our, our our sad you know forgotten server. It was fun. We did a couple of votes and it was a lot of fun. Nice, nice. Oh, um, konban kokone for those of you who are new to me. I mean, I can't imagine because I'm pretty. <laughs> You know, we I I I I converse with uh you know Gen 3 a lot. 
the Kumban coconut. I am Yuriko Coconut of Via News First Wave Symphoria. And I am uh, Maeve and Sion's senpai. But I do a lot of drawing streams and puzzle, chill games, as well as a little bit of tabletop RPG. But oh, that one's a little less frequent due to uh, how much work it involves. <laughs> Yeah, I'm new here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like chill vibes, um, and you know, just like I guess informative zatus, whether that information is useful is up for debate. But you know, we talk about a lot of random, random shit, <laughs> random like. Uh, animal facts, like, talk about some fucked up, you know, research that's happened in the past. <laughs> talk about some... Yeah, this informative is definitely a descriptor for coconut. <laughs> Hi, wow, you're a super pretty girl. I love your avatar. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> My mama definitely went, uh, did a gr amazing job uh, making me very pretty. So I really appreciate my my model mother. <laughs> Cursed knowledge and goddess gulps. Oh, not the gulps. No, no, no. That's not what I'm known for. No, no, no. <laughs> it's always useful. It takes a lot to find that use. <laughs> That's true. Information is always useful. But where you will be able to use it? Yeah, that might take a while to find. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Kukune has so much cursed knowledge. I don't have that much. If anything, Sion definitely has more cursed knowledge. Right, Sion? Are you still here? <laughs> I would say she's probably the most, like, knowledgeable about cursed topics. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> I have no idea what you mean. Oh, you know exactly what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. Sion has a harm? No, no, no. Kokona is cursed knowledge goddess. <laughs> I would be inclined to agree. Yeah. <laughs> the sacred lightsaber text. Oh, yeah, you know, because like Sion reads, you know, lightsaber text in public, you know, whether um, by accident or not. Well, you know, that I'll leave up to interpretation. But, you know, she she does the daily, daily read of said lightsaber texts. So say in that in that realm she's definitely way more knowledgeable mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Zion is very innocent <laughs> let's get a cursed knowledge collab stream oh yeah yeah we were we we're gonna do the um h tag collab <laughs> i still haven't um gotten around to like discussing it more in depth but we that is something we we planned for so buckle up <laughs> buckle up everyone it's gonna be a wild ride <laughs> oh no oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yes the 80 percent go <laughs> yeah everyone started jumping in and they're like i want to do it too it's like oh we're gonna have a little a little orgy there <laughs> we'll have a little you know party <laughs> If Sion's top tier aren't the most messed up tags, I'd be very disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I would be disappointed too. After after all of that setup, uh, all of that setup, uh, I, I want to see the most fucked up shit up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if the stream manages to stay monetized, okay. Whose channel should we hold it, host it on? That that whose channel will most likely not get demonetized, <laughs> not get affected. Actually, Leora Sion's DK probably has the craziest ones. To be honest, who's the most, who has the most monetization? <laughs> VNU arc. Oh, what genius, genius! We'll hijack VNU's official channel and do the H tag stream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Genius, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> on D 
Mika is she used to getting banned? No, she's already getting banned enough. We're trying to not get a banned, right? We're trying not to get the stream banned and demonetized. Imagine you both get banned. <laughs> I mean, in terms of like demonetization, my streams do stay monetized generally no matter what unless a song is involved. So, my channel is pretty strong in that regard, I think. Like, I don't think I've ever gotten, like, limited monetization on things that are not, like, copyright-based. <laughs> Mita, but she's not even going to be in, the, in that stream. It's going, to, it's going to be me, Cyan, and Echo. So we're gonna- it's either of those three or VNU. Like, DK also isn't going to be in that stream, as far as I know. No games have set it off? Um, and some games did have, like, uh, copyrighted music, which set it off, but, like, the, I think I only had, like, two. <laughs> mm hmm So, I'm doing, or, I'm, I'm, I have a pretty, you know, uh, strike-free, uh, rec like, spot-free record. And Maeve got demonetized for having Zion exist on her channel. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Maybe I shouldn't, like, you know, test, tempt fate and say that. And then as soon as Zion gets on my stream, it's, like, immediately demonetized. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that would happen, but I guess you can never be too safe. I'm still surprised Mita didn't get mine demonetized. Oh yeah, wait. I'm surprised Mita's impersonation of you didn't get mon uh, demonetized. That one was like... <laughs> that one was something. <laughs> I was like, why is she moaning? <laughs> why does she keep moaning? <laughs> okay, if that didn't get demonetized, I think we're, we'll be safe on your channel. Zion. I think we'll be safe on your channel. If that didn't get demonetized, yeah. <laughs> that was the best dang Zatsu content you ever did. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, for those who didn't uh, see it, I would highly recommend you check out Zion's April 1st stream. Just like how I told you all to check out DK's April 1st stream, I would say just check out all of the VNU girls' April 1st stream. They're they're all they're all amazing. <laughs> they're all legendary, top tier content, except mine. <laughs> except mine. Don't look don't watch my stream on April 1st. It didn't it didn't happen. Mine was a shit post. Through and through. Yeah, yours just broke our hearts. <laughs> Stop. Don't make me feel so... That makes me feel guilty. <laughs> Alright, but you have to get to bed because I have a stupid delivery window starting at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Wait, they're just like... Yeah, we'll deliver it probably 7 a.m. to like 3 p.m. Is that what they did? Fuck them. <laughs> oh, I hate those bullshit windows. But good luck. Thank you so much for stopping by and get some good rest. Uh, <laughs> 7 to 11? That one, it happened. Icky button. It's 7 11. But uh, uh, that, that's still a pretty big window, so that sucks. <laughs> I hope uh, they deliver it immediately at 7 and you can go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yours was great. Even if it was, if I was heartbreaking, but, <laughs> but you were sleeping. <laughs> Uh, yes. I guess, uh, I guess there's different ways to, um, different ways to take the, the, the April Fools that I did. <laughs> it could be taken either positively or negatively, you know, depends, depends how knees deep you were into a certain figment of your imagination. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Imagine having to translate a script for two hours special that releases at 9 a.m. We just got it at 7 a.m. Some of us are used to that kind of thing. What the fuck? That's some bullshit. That's... Jeez. Yeah, some people really do think... It's like, oh, but we gave it to you before. Like... <laughs> before, right? You know, even if it's like, you know, two hours before and it's a two hour thing long. Um, you know, it's that's still good enough, right? <laughs> it's like, no! <laughs> Obviously, you've never done this job before. Happened more than once, two good times. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fire that. Fire them. <laughs> well, I guess you can't, but like, that's some bullshit. It's never good enough. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it could be never. It, it's like, it's never good enough. But like, you know, maybe, maybe at least not two, two hours before you have to, you have to release something. And it's like a two hour long script. Uh, that's just, that's some bullshit. <laughs> uh, also, I'm pretty far. I think I'm pretty, I'm getting pretty far into, into this uh, wallpaper. It's, it's looking, it's coming along. I think I would be able to finish it off stream pretty easily. And then the people who joined membership will get the full final product. Um, since I don't, I usually don't finish membership uh, wallpapers on stream. Just so you know, the members can get a little, yeah! <laughs> when they see it yeah i don't think i'll need a second stream for this to be honest it's pretty it's pretty far along so like i think i'll need like maybe an hour maybe two of like just concentrated time max and it'll probably be done like at most yeah i would say like three broken hours because you know if i if i if i do them like at like different like intervals like three three sittings of like one hour each it does take me longer so maybe three broken hours max mm -hmm. probably She likes to surprise us and keep on us on her toes. <laughs> oh, you really need the design. Maybe you created Puff. That green really looks good. Ah, oh, thank you, Big Red, for the two months of membership to Lovely Coconuts. And thank you so much for the comment. Uh, yeah, I really liked what Navy designed. I already, I saw the vision. I saw what she was cooking. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna draw it. So I'm really happy that it, um, it came out like this and people like it. Um, I will definitely finish it and you know give it up as wallpaper but i'm glad other people like it as well <clears throat> uh you can get that for being a member that's awesome <laughs> yeah yeah you can <laughs> well i'll see you around quick this i uh, pop in and watch one of your streams in another time but right now i gotta head for that thank you so much for stopping by and get some good rest uh, thank you thank you I still really, really like the contrast with the shoe. <laughs> oh, you like the you like the uh, shoe being very bright. Uh, I do want it to be bright, but I'm gonna tone it down just slightly. I wanted to make it light colored though. Yeah, I'm like maybe, like, so the type the shoe I have has a little bit of like, uh, a guild to it, like a guild gilding to it. Mm -hmm. And then this part would be the cream colored 
soul. And then this part. Like that. <laughs> uh, I like that as a glow in the dark sort of thing because it's sort of in the uh, corner of the dress. Yeah, I think it'll. I, it, it'll depend. I'll have to see. It might get a little bit more covered up uh, with like effects and like butterflies, but I will balance it out at the end. And I do want to add like little, uh, little, what's, whatchamacallit, like glitter glow uh, around the edge of like, well, oh, that's a bad, bad color to use. <laughs> That's a bad color to use. Uh, let me see. Uh, add glow and then like, ah, you know what? It's, it's not. Uh, where's the? Oh, there you go. Little glowing uh particles glitter around here. Spread. I have to see about that though, and then, um, glitter on this this top area too. Actually, should I do it here? Oh, it's a pink. No, it's gonna be chain. I, I just did it as a flat base color, but it's not gonna be pink. <laughs> it's not gonna be pink. It's gonna be like um, these ones are. Wait, what did it? What did Mivi color it as? It's gonna be like a rose gold. So it's more like this. I just did used one flat color for it just so that I have I could see the shapes and the silhouettes. <laughs> and I might change the butterfly to be a little bit more bluer. A little bit bluer. With like green bits. Mm -mm. And add some visual, uh, like, detail, detail onto the butterfly so it has a little bit more visual interest. Uh, just because everything else around it is pretty simple. So I might do that for the butterfly. <gasps> Wait, not me! Hi, hi, hi! Not me, Malcolm, Malcolm. Oi, oi. Saisho no kotoba ga oppai no katachi line s tsugi. Nande? Oi. My eyes are up here, Nopi. My eyes are up here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Then you get it, Dio. Doko me ten Dio kono skibe. Mo. No, you're you're more perverted than everyone else here. <laughs> You're, you're the perverted old man everyone tells you to be careful of. <laughs> nah, -uh, really? Can you really say that? <laughs> She's with us. Is she her mouthpiece? <laughs> Are you representing the the coconuts? Is that what it is? <laughs> I'm speaking on behalf of the coconuts. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I didn't know you were the representative for the coconuts. <laughs> I 
she knows what we're thinking. Nopi knows what she wants and she wants and we want the same. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I don't know about that. We're just choosing to be more polite. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> I see. And should I make it smaller? Yeah, I, I should make the particle size a little smaller. <laughs> Hi, Nopi! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> how is... How are you? <laughs> Besides, you know, looking at my... Staring at my boobs. <laughs> Besides staring at my boobs, you know. How are you? <laughs> Actually... For, for the people in chat, Nopi may make an appearance in one of my one of the boutique segments in the future. <laughs> well, very well, well, my eyes are yes, I did. Mm -hmm. And then maybe maybe I'll get back at her by making her make making Nopi very sexy, you know. <laughs> Although to be honest, I I just want Nopi to be wearing cute stuff. But like maybe I'll get back at her and draw her in something so uh super sexy. <laughs> Who loses in that case? Probably me. <laughs> Honestly, probably me. <laughs> You know, uh, Mother Nature, the trees in the background and the stuff, no uh, stuff nothing else, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, oh, I see, I see. <laughs> the trees and like the, the blobs <laughs> of shapes that I have in the background. Definitely not the fully rendered stuff I have in the foreground. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be great revenge. Now we'd win. Oh my god. No matter who loses, coconuts win. <laughs> True, true. Is it is it really a revenge? I don't know. That's a very good point. But yes, do do be excited for our very own uh, Makai English Japanese teacher to make an appearance eventually <laughs> down the line. <laughs> I can't promise when exactly, but it's not too far. It's not too far down the line. Actually, let me check. And so, go ni itte, go ni itte. Yeah, you're actually quite soon. <laughs> you're actually within, like. Or the next in within a month, I would say, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I will wait forever. Already excited! Yay! Spoilers! Uh, I'm gonna spoil you. Like if this one is later. This one is pretty early. This one, I would say, would be the third month, maybe, and then not be you. Probably be fourth or fifth. Maybe four, thir three or four, third or fourth, possibly. <laughs> You're within this decade at least. <laughs> please, 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 much, much earlier than the decade. Okay. Um, <laughs> Will you recite the ooh magic now? <laughs> but yes, um, I I am starting to sort out the the boutique and putting a little bit of like a uh a number to him and then see if the people who are uh going to be guests uh want to like you know go in vc and stuff i'll probably be checking that nopi would you want to be <laughs> would you want to or would you just rather be in the in the chat watching <laughs> or would you rather be in the voice chat <laughs> let me know for the coconut boutique mm -mm -mm. And then we could we could see if we could align. Yeah, I'm down either way. Yeah, 
okay, okay, okay. I will, I will see. And then I will let you know when I'll be planning on doing it. And we could, we could schedule. Yeah. Like, I originally did it without scheduling, like, um, other people joining because I wanted it to be something I could do very regularly. And so it's not reliant on other people's schedules, but... Uh, staff was like, you should probably at least ask them if they're cute, if they want to join or not. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you know what? That's true. I should at least ask them. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, Nupi might be the second non-VNU boutique girl. Maybe, who knows? Maybe there might be another one. We are encroaching onto um, more non v and u girls uh, for the boutique so we uh you could be excited for that one mm -hmm. i think out of i'll give you a little spoiler in that regard out of the seven boutique forms that i have one wait one two three four of them are non v and u girls yeah <laughs> Four out of the seven are non VNU girls. So only three of them are actually VNU girls left. Mm hmm. Yeah. You can update the forms to include that uh, as a separate question for the applicant's answer. That's true. I, should, I probably should. <laughs> I probably should put that in like the form itself. Yeah. I should. Yeah. Oh, but I should I should probably end for today and get to bed. Nappy, I miss you. <laughs> uh, I wanna I wanna talk to more, Nappy more. She's so fun to talk to. <laughs> we get along very well, as you probably have noticed in our collabs. So I wanna do more collabs with you. I miss you too, Nappy. Let's do more collabs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna dictate it for for you. We're gonna do more collabs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you and Nuffy agree. Yeah, Nuffy's nice. Nuffy's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I will never say Nuffy. Ah, Nuffy! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> but continuing her gamer arc? Yes! We have to do the gamer arc for Nuffy. Wait. <laughs> yeah, no be you. Yeah, you have to do the gamer gamer training. <laughs> we'll we'll get we'll get her there. We'll get her there. Oh yeah, um I still working on that. I was about to say I haven't seen you do the I haven't seen you do Tetra stream yet. Like, you know, I haven't seen that yet. What's uh you know, what's uh <laughs> What's the update on that so far? <laughs> Monster Hunter collab when? Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. Mm -hmm. Where's the Nopi Ikaruga stream? Actually, Nopi, you wanna play two player Ikaruga with me? <laughs> you don't even have to buy the game. You could just. I just invite you on stream. To, uh, on, on Steam to like local two player game. And then. You could just play with my game, uh, in two player. You don't even need the game. You just have to sit your ass down and be ready to be traumatized by bullets. <laughs> I um, I'm doing that. I haven't touched this circle. <laughs> oh no, we already know what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's okay, but at least not be. I'm bad at that game too, at least. Yeah. So, we could both be, you know... <laughs> we could both be, you know, um, dying repeatedly with that game. Bad? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, no big content is happening. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> One will be better. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's... A test of your reflex, a test of your memorization. Yeah, great stuff. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll show you after. <laughs> okay, but thank you everyone for joining me. We got this far from our sketch, which looked originally... Wait, I should show you. 
I should show people what the sketch looked like. Wait, where's where's I should... there we go. Put this here. Wait. Fuck. Put this here and then put this wait. Put this here. Like this. And then put this on top. Put this on top. And are you ready? In three, two, one. This is oh, oh this is where we started off with. <laughs> this is where we started from and then now it's here yay yay <laughs> so um mimir is still missing and um i will still add the mimir and the butterflies but for the most part it's pretty close it's pretty it's getting there it's getting there so we did. We went from here to here in this uh, this stream. <laughs> so thank you everyone for joining me, and I will see you all. Oh, tomorrow it is uh, the Enu's first group collab with um, Gen Five. So please do be there. It's gonna be a little later than my usual stream, so it's gonna be at 11 p.m. EST. Uh, so please do. Uh, remember that I will be posting everyone's POVs and making a hollow. Uh, no, um, what's it? What's, what's that thing? Uh, hollow cast? What's it? Uh, oh, uh, hollow um, cast. Uh, cast. Uh, the thing. Shoot. Hollow decks. Hollow decks. I was. Uh, hollow decks. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, I mistook it with like my um, cast craft, and I was just like, craft cast. No, it's definitely not cast or craft. <laughs> I was like, hello, what? <laughs> uh, so thank you, thank you. EST gang losing. Nah, it's, it's, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, 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 it'll be fine. It'll be, um, goose goose duck though. So it'll be very, it's not gonna be too long of a stream. So don't worry. Um, it will probably be two hours or so and it's the weekend yeah you'll be fine you'll be fine <laughs> est gang losing eu gang lamau lol lamau even true the eu gangs are the ones that are really going to be losing <laughs> the eu gang is unfortunately the one that are really going to be losing because it's like ass hours for them so unfortunately as oh unfortunately tia cannot join again um, eventually, I think we'll be able to make like a VNU collab where it's earlier so that Tia can join one of them. Uh, it's it's not very fa it's not too fair for her because she's literally the one with like she's literally in EU with a normie schedule, unlike you know certain others in uh, Hello Land <laughs> who are d working with DGen hours um, and are okay with that. Uh, on, uh, um, but Tia it does actually uh, sleep. At a proper human like normal time so she misses out unfortunately yeah yeah the other two eus are wilding yeah <laughs> yeah the other eu girls are wilding and they're available during the, um the dj hours more so that's why the vnu like all group collabs tend to be around this hour but yeah we basically like um just like sent like a you know, like those like when when to meet like sites where you could put in your availabilities. We send that to like all the talents, as we do with all of the VNU collabs, like um, and see where we could fit everyone the most. <laughs> yeah. So unfortunately, this is the time that, that happened to be where ev as mo many much could be available, and we did try to prioritize like you know the gen. Uh, five because it is going to be their release from baby jail ah cookie dough thank you so much for the raid hello hello welcome welcome i'm so sorry i'm like right about to end but welcome raiders i hope you had a really great stream and uh hello konban coconut to those who are new here i am yurika coconut from the enya's first wave symphoria and i am a dream goddess who does a lot of drawing streams as well as puzzle and chill games and tabletop rpg stuff so hello hello hi wait let me make you a mod 
Hello, how was your stream? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm like literally wrapping up, but I hope you had a great stream. And uh, wait, wait, go to chat. Um, mm -mm. Let me double check what you did. Oh wait, are you also doing a drawing stream? Ah, <gasps> hey. So for those who do like art and drawing streams. Please do check out Kukito's uh, most recent stream. She also is friends with a lot of the VNU girls that I know and I know of. Like, um, I know you've uh, collabed with Mita and Sion and Maeve and Suri, I believe. So please do check uh, Cookie out. <laughs> hey, yeah! Ah, Rias, thank you so much for the four months of membership to Pina Cocolada. Thank you, thank you. Our enjoyers stay winning. Yeah! So, uh, for those who are new, um, this is the drawing that I did this stream. It is going to be finished off stream though. It's not quite finished yet, um, but it is going to be available in high res for members only. And, uh, and the final product won't be shared to the public besides like a really cropped view. But we started from this, uh, uh, this stream and then we got all the way up to here and so i'll be finishing this one off of sh off stream but yeah your art is gorgeous oh thank you thank you cookie thank you so much but yeah these are some of the membership wallpaper uh, examples that i have so it's it's all stuff like this i could show a little bit more uh like oh <laughs> oh. oh yeah so like this this is an example of a cropped version of um some of the membership wallpapers that i provide and yeah oh yeah yeah let me show what i base this off of this is based off of my kohai's uh idol design that she made for me and she based it off of earth so she inspired an idol outfit um earth themed for me so i wanted to draw this in full illustration for my members so that is what we did today yeah <laughs> so it is drawn by maybe ivory from uh vnu's gen 5 triple a club sorry my brain is slowly starting to go to sleep so i'm like d um, i'm 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 pulling at my um, i'm like slapping my brain awake like get up no, stay stay awake you still have uh, the finishing introductions to do <laughs> so i was like uh Gen 5, what was her name? It was Triple A Club. I definitely did not forget. It's just my brain lagging. <laughs> You're almost done cooking the MMS. <laughs> yeah, we've been streaming for... We've been drawing for almost 5 hours now. So, um, it is getting quite late. So, unfortunately, I do have to end stream. But thank you so, so much for rating. And I hope you do ch uh, check out the uh, VOD. And if you do like drawing streams and comfy vibes please do uh yeah stay st stick around mm -hmm. and so we are going to rate Ooh. Oh, oh okay 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 we're gonna rate into one of our very close friends uh uh who is doing an indie debut so please do go and um support her as she is uh she was in well it was prism and they've unfortunately dissolved so uh iku is doing a indie debut so please do let's all go watch that and i will see you all there uh, thank you everyone bye bye